Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Aslan. And good morning, Starchy. And good morning, Comfy. How are you guys going? Welcome in. How are you going? Juicy, welcome in, dudes. How are you doing? Good morning. Guys, it's like actually, it's actually sunny here. It's unbelievable. It's sunny today. And <laughs> Time to drink. I mean, I'm not sure about that. Max, jump, jump, Archimedes, Spaniard. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome, welcome. It's actually sunny day. It's fucking ridiculous. <gasps> Come on, me. Come for me, dude. Thank you so much for two months of support, dude. Gina Fa one dance. Gina <laughs> Fa one dance. Gina Fa one dance. Gina Fa one dance. <laughs> Thank you so much for the two months of support. Zero, welcome in. Zero, welcome in. <laughs> Starchy, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. How are you guys going this morning? It's, 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 it's. It's sunny here, and I'm gonna be honest. Noodles, welcome in! I'm gonna be honest. Um, I have the overwhelming urge to find a slight grassy incline and roll down it. <laughs> I have, okay, okay, yes, yes, I have the desire to touch grass. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> okay, I have the desire. <gasps> Crono, oh, whoa, dude, eight months Gene of- FA, one dance, <laughs> Gene FA, one heart, Gene one FA, heart. one comfy. One comfy. <laughs> dude, thank you, Crono. Thank you so much for eight months of board. I guess it's resub time. My God. Dude, thank you for choosing this, for this me high. Thank you for choosing this to be something you want to sub support to. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, but yes, I have the urge to touch grass. You guys ever get that? You know, the desire to kind of find a slight- a slight hill, a grassy hill, and then roll down it. You know, <laughs> just me? No, not just me. Of course, it's like that urge to, I don't know. I feel like, I'm gonna say, I feel like next week, next week, I'm gonna take at least one day off stream to find a grassy hill and roll down it. I don't know, I wanna lay in the grass. I wanna, I wanna smell it. I wanna, <laughs> I wanna inhale. I wanna get my eyes all itchy because of hay fever. I wanna like eat it. <laughs> like a dog <laughs> i just i feel like i need to touch grass it's been so long is this called cabin fever cabin feet i want to floral frolic i want to run commando welcome into the jetpack don't don't you ever want to frolic through the grassy knoll not that <laughs> not that grassy knoll but you know what i mean you have you want to you ever um i mean uh magic bullet what don't you ever just want to just like arms out like the hills are alive with the sound of kaiju fighting a song they have sung for a thousand years <laughs> Nick, how you doing it's been a few years because for me the place is getting more dirty and there's been less and less places around you Chris Nick, stop it do you, uh, do, don't, I, are you guys gonna find some so everything will soon be a woman it on and on it seemed to go that you don't know what you got to it's got to pay paradise and turn it to a walmart driving parking lot Ooh, bup, bup. <laughs> um but no seriously i we gotta we, we're all gonna find a little grassy patch even if it's like a one by one we gotta find something that we can just 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 <laughs> i need i need to get like i don't know I want to ascend from the grass smell. Can we get much higher? I don't know. I, I've had also, also, I'm in kind of a kind of a um, musical mood this morning, it seems. Uh, KTJ, welcome in. And, and Max, uh, that one time I did, I got caught my finger on a towel rack. How did you get, why was a towel rack near the, why was a towel rack near the grass? Dude, it's meant to just be grass. Why are the hills alive with towel racks? <laughs> No, this morning, I, maybe it's the warmth. I don't know. Maybe it's like the opposite of, you know, when you got cold weather blues. A lot of you guys, like you burger bros will be going into the cold weather. You guys experiencing the cold weather blues, you know, where it starts getting cold. If in Australia, it's getting hot. I'm wearing, I'm wearing shorts right now. I'm wearing like boxer shorts. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm living it up. I got singlet shorts on, I'm vibing. <laughs> Why am I wearing a jacket, you ask? D -d -d don't, 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 don't think about it. Why am I wearing a beanie? Don't, don't think about it. It's fine. <laughs> uh, scars are always cool stories. It's true, it's true, it's true. Like you can get a scar on the eye and it's like, what kind of, who did you battle? And it might've just been like, you fell into like the chocolate aisle at a Woolworths. <laughs> um, I was referring to the sound of music pose. Oh, you did the sound of music pose. <gasps> oof, oof, oof. It's finally cold. Yes, I get the hot cocoa. You know what? That's the one. What? 
fires. If you have a fireplace, you get to put the fireplace on. Towerrack mating season. They're out in droves. <gasps> Those filthy degenerate <laughs> Towerracks. Uh, we'll also, we'll welcome in Allegory and welcome in Dry Skull. Boxes and a singlet. Now I want to watch Halsos again. Halsos? What's that? Uh, no cold weather blues here. Yeah, I love the cold because the cold never bothered me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love the cold. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of uh, of cold weather. I'm an autumn person. I love the autumn. However, it's like this, since it's been, it feels like it's been a really long winter, like a really long winter. So for some reason, seeing like, here comes the sun, butter ba butter. Ba I'm like, whoa, I really want to roll down a hill and get, get like grass itchy all over me. <laughs> Um, stats with scars tell different stories every time. It's true, it's true. I have a scar in, in my arm. I could tell you guys a story about that. Um, it's still a bit cool in Queensland. Uh, nine, 16 degrees. Oh, 16 degrees. Oh, freak, Gene, I forgot. I got a new art of Mecca. Oh, you did? Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that way no one really knows wait the story of the scars yeah 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 i have a lot of scars that's right chris you you've 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 got you got war scars you got war scars from the um from the accident chris nick was never the same after the accident uh roll down a hill oddly specific yes i want to find a hill and roll down it i don't want to run up the hill maybe i'll run up the hill and then i'll roll down it run it up the hill <laughs> make a deal with god all right this is a musical episode okay this is uh please understand that this is the musical episode why am every everything's reminding me of a song today everything's reminding me of a song today my only scar was from being a staple <laughs> Oh, staple, staple. It's uh, far from the worst in 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 injury, but it's also visceral. Like Aslan, that's also a very visceral in injury. It's one that we all could relate to possibly getting getting like hit by. Uh, nope, never was. Exactly. Zoom, welcome. Hey, nerds, how you doing? <laughs> Halso was an adult comedy about an Australian neighborhood that was part of the housing commissions. Oh, Halso. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Housing commissions are interesting. We also have housing blocks in some cities and they have it almost like a European look to them because they're inspired by the 1970s housing block that they put up around like the UK in Liverpool and Manchester so there's like this weird Euro Australian feel to them because they're full they're full with bogans and darrows but they they look like they should be filled with chavs <laughs> so it's interesting a deal with a dog <laughs> I will be I will admit Godo is a great name for a dog you know, from the French absurdist theatrical production Waiting for Godot. Godot would be a great name for a papa. Papa, like a little like a little golden retriever called Godot would be great. Would be great. Trying to deal with figure out how the hell anime heads work and draw them. Uh bowling ball and then Dorito at the bottom. <laughs> Welcome in free, how you doing? What the heck is a bogan? Do you want me to do bogan education? We can do it before the stream starts. I can educate you guys on what a bogan is. Bogan, bogan, uh, bogan, uh, what do you call it? Like a uh, outfit list, bogan character list, Bo bogan, uh, this is a bunch of bogans. Uh, uh, bogans are Australian rednecks or Australian chaps. That's what bogans are. Uh, they're, they're, um, people normally who are a little bit, um, uh, more economically, uh, like, less well off than other people, and they're fucking epic. They're, they drink their beers, they got their fucking mullets, they wear the wife beaters. <laughs> um. Is the person here on Twitch? Uh, that's, hey, Crosswalls, welcome into Twitch.tv. I don't know how you ended up on my stream. <laughs> Out of all the streams, but I hope you uh you enjoy your stay here. <laughs> Twitch is interesting. I only got into Twitch like a year ago. You will, uh, you'll learn the culture. Uh, let's educate tw uh, cross on a pog champ. So a pog champ is uh, when you're in a Twitch stream uh, and and something cool happens, you say pog champ, <laughs> and when something bad happens, you say monkey's ass. <laughs> Uh, and if you know those two funny words, you should fit in like you're one of the locals. <laughs> 
America does not have them. Kind of like Australian rednecks. Yes, exactly. You got to explain doll bludges. Okay, so the doll, <laughs> the doll is uh, welfare. Uh, it's the Australian Centrelink services. So if you have, if you're, if you're below a certain income, or you have, um, if you're a pensioner, or if you have uh, specific medical requirements, or if you're a student, you can apply for government support because of our welfare system. If you qualify for government support, the government will give you a small amount of money. Uh, a tiny little bit of money just to keep you going for a bit. And they're bastards and they make it really difficult for you to get this money. But everyone's like, fuck you, government. Go take your fucking money. Uh, <laughs> a doll bludger is someone who is not really doing what they... they essentially, they're getting the money and then they're not trying to get off of Centrelink. Uh, but to be fair, like, you can't live off Centrelink. So, like, the people who are quote-unquote doll bludging for the most part like it must be pretty rough off to like be doing that but then but then again like there's all those corporations that stole money from Centrelink. anyway <laughs> um uh, it was kind of shocked to realize i was a bogan as a kid ducking Centrelink, man uh, yeah i i i've been everywhere man i've been all over the place so i feel like i've lived in I feel like for some part of my growing up, even though I lived in a facility, people would consider where I grew up to be kind of more bogan. So I was like a black sheep in the regards of like, I'm here in my preppy outfits, you know, uh, even though the facility was a little bit of like a low com income area, being like, oh, I love Doctor Who. I want to watch my British television shows. <laughs> and everyone was like, get our fucking Cooper's Green into you. <laughs> <laughs> so I definitely from first-hand experience understand the Bogan lifestyle mm, I completely uh, I'm a semi doll bludger job network Centrelink sucks yeah they do I mean I I I out of everyone know how much Centrelink sucks update on the Centrelink on the gov on the on the it's the update is there isn't one and I'm still suffering <laughs> Imagine the Megacorp Kaiju fighting training around being a low-income living facility. It kind of was like that. Once again, you have to understand that Synapse's goal is to have put all the facilities and locations which people won't find them, which means they often end up in the middle of nowhere, country towns, low-income areas. So, and I've moved around a lot, so it means that the facility has been located in some pretty, pretty uh, interesting places. The suffering is total. We're here forever. <laughs> Nemo! <laughs> Nemo, how are you doing? Welcome in. It's true! <laughs> <laughs> Let me hydrate. So yeah, I was thinking, I think I might take like a day off next week to roll down a hill. I think that's the goal. Mm. Mm. But I watched a bunch of, Joe, welcome in, welcome in. I watched a bunch of interesting YouTube videos before, before, um, before to roll down a hill. Yeah, I need to take some time off to find some grass. Hey, welcome in. I had this urge this morning because the sun was out. I was like, I've not rolled down a hill in years. This is something I need to rectify. I, <laughs> I need to find a way to roll down a hill. <laughs> a big, lush, grassy hill. I gotta find one, I gotta roll it down it. You know what? You seem nice. I'll just follow you. Hey, that's all good, Cross. Thank you so much. <laughs> Dude, I appreciate the follow. <laughs> and if you stop by, I hope you I hope you enjoy just hanging around. Uh, honestly, the government upper class assumes everyone's on Centrelink is a lazy doll. Yeah, it's that, that exactly. Based and Benny makes the the doll bludger is kind of like a meme because the terminology is motion mostly thrown around by people that have no experience with the Centrelink system and if you have experience with the Centrelink system you know that most people would not doll bludge if they had the ch if they had the choice to because <laughs> Centrelink fucking sucks dick <laughs> I mean I wouldn't know I work for a science facility so I've like I've never experienced it obviously <laughs> um but yeah, I was before I got on stream, I watched two really interesting videos. I watched a Nautilus live video, a Nautilus live video about um, archaeology research they're doing in the Hawaii oceans about World War II aircraft and um, ship wrecks. It's really cool. They're using like contemporary uh, 3D scanning technology so they no longer have to disturb the wrecks and they can preserve like high quality renders of the wrecks for future generations. That was the coolest thing ever. I saw that this morning. I watched a video about it. It was so cool. Like World War II fighter jets just completely um, encased in sand in the, in, the, in the Hawaiian oceans, like the oceans around Hawaii. And there's like these whole teams of people that are recording them, and no, and ah, oh, it was so cool. Uh, I'm now convinced Centrelink is uh, is a painful fossil. Yes, 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 exactly. That's what. That's why it's such a meme because it is designed to, can, to pe try and get people to not use it. 
Speaking of, there are more planes under. It's true, 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 true. I mean, wait. <laughs> then there are submarines in the sky. I mean, yes, that is true. Does a blimp count as a sky submarine? Does 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 a blimp count as a size submarine? Let's think about that. Is that true? No. Um. So they're 3D track scanning the ships <laughs> like the VTubers. <gasps> World War Two. Uh, plane VTuber when. I, I wish I came up with that idea. I wish I was a World War II plane VTuber. And then you could have a, for, oh, for your Halloween outfit, you could be like a, a shipwreck. Like, oh, for your Halloween outfit, you could be like a like a, a plane wreck. That would be so cool. Um, the 3D um, scanning, sh wait, wait, wait. There has got to be so many wrecks in the ocean. Oh yeah, so many. Do space stations count as si sky subs? <gasps> That's a good point. I think space stations kind of are like sky. Hello, we've been notified when Miss has been disclosing sensitive information about uh, uh, <laughs> side ups. Boss man. Hi, how you doing, boss man? No, I wouldn't. I would never. There's no need to wipe my memory. It's fine. I would, I'm just talking about the other thing I watched today, which was, um, <laughs> Guess what, Jets? We're turning you into the USS Hornets this Christmas. <laughs> Happy Christmas, Xbox. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> World War II plane VTuber uh, being like a pinup character. That's such a good idea, Spaniard. No, that's such a good idea. Like, yeah, a, a pinup. Oh! And then, like, the all the overlay is like, looks like the side of a plane. Who's, why are they not doing this? Why are they not doing this? M my, honestly, my, actually, yo though. <laughs> like, I, every day I feel like I, I, my, my idea is not cool enough. Fucking genius. Damn. Damn. <laughs> every day we come on to the classic girl flexing the arm. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. Like the, do it. Like, um, you can do it, girl. <gasps> the little hair twist. Victory rolls. Victory rolls. Why don't we have like, we've got... We've got, we've got, um, why don't we have a pinup VTuber? I'm sure there is a pinup VTuber. I just haven't seen them yet. There's got to be a pinup VTuber. Like, like a, 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 Vigna, a Vignas girl? Like the, oh, wait, oh my god. Oh, imagine if this was a VTuber. A, um, uh, it's the Playboy bag, Playboy, I don't know if I can show this on stream. Playboy mag, uh, um, pin up. What was his name? He started with a V, the artist, the artist. What was his name? I cannot show this on stream. I cannot show this on stream. Uh, Wagner, Wagner, uh, Vargas, Vargas. He is the one who did all the really nice ones for Playboy. Vargas, um, Varga. Can I show any of these on stream? <laughs> Can I show any of these on stream? No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? This is like 1950s titty and I can't show it on stream. Um, Damn, they're so good though, but imagine. <laughs> so I'm just normally put their own um, waifu stickers on their equipment these days. That's kind of funny to think about, actually. That is kind of funny. Yeah, I can't show any of this on stream. <laughs> There's no chance. There is no chance. <laughs> <laughs> this dude art so good. Just Google uh, Varg Varga V A R G A R uh, pinup artist. Um, Playboy pin up. Yeah, uh, and that's some that's some classic. That's some classic. <laughs> oh, oh, this one's so good. Okay, I'm sending this one to the Discord. I'm sending this one to the Discord. Okay. Oh, it's, it's a it's a GIF. I'm so upset. It's a GIF file. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, the titties, oh, they're still around, I think. Uh, do they, did they, did we, did, like, did we evolve out of them or something? Uh, tanks are full of waifus, but Tank Boy did make a excellent point as to why his tank was super weird inside. What is a tank but a basement on wheels? <laughs> That's great. That's great. I came for the mecha theme, but I stay for the pinup recommendations. <laughs> yeah. No, I had like a phase where I was really interested in like pinup artists because they're really unique. Like it's a really unique style. Um, 
It's like a very, oh, this one that's like a, like a witch with a little, with a little broomstick. Oh, cat girl. Oh my God. This is freaking 1950s cat girl titty. <laughs> It's a Jiffy file again. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna snip this. I have, to, I have to send the 1950s cat girl titty into the Discord. Sorry, give me a step, a second. This is very, this is very important. We will get to the video game. I promise we will get to the, we'll get to the video game eventually. That will happen. That will happen. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, 19, 1950s cat girl. Okay. Oh my God. Please ignore that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I just want to send the, the lewd cat go into the Discord. Give me a second. It's gonna drop. I'm dropping it. Out. I'm dropping it. It's in, the, it's in the lewd chat. It's in the lewd chat. It's being posted. It's being posted. Uh, stop it. Uh, save it to the homework file. <laughs> um, Neko Council, you're welcome in Rock and Stone. Wait, what's that? What's that from? It's from like a video game, right? Uh, why is your homework file so large? That during the first thing I see is 19... <laughs> this titty cat girl. I mean, if you check the Discord, it will be clearly explained. It's in the Lude channel. Um, that wasn't a tiny melon. No, stop talking about the tiny melons. <laughs> it's a co-op dwarf mining shooter. Very, very fun. Uh, Deep Rock or Galactic? That's right. I remember seeing, like, uh, I think it was Fruit Player. I think I saw Fruit Play Deep Rock. Yes, yes. Um... Uh, they made the very popular Eva Eiffel into a pinup decal. You could use it in a game called War Thunder. Ramshackle, welcome in! That's really cool. So I'm getting very, uh, I'm being very distracted, uh, right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Suck at me! Suck at the Nori! Suck at me! Welcome in, Raiders! I'm still at me. I was lurking in your stream earlier, but I was preparing for stream, so I didn't say anything, and I saw you making that. Was it, it's kind of like beige? It's kind of like a, uh, uh, like he's like kind of like an old classical look. Welcome in. Wait, talk about dinner. Thank you so much for gifting us up to Sukumi and Clear Hills Wanderer. Welcome into the jetpack. Hi, welcome in. Jelly Megaraid. <laughs> Jelly Megaraid. <laughs> Talk at Dino gifted a tier Thank one sub you. to Sukimi B. Dorney. This I'm... is their first gift <laughs> sub in the channel. <laughs> Muted colors, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the muted colors. I was, I was lurking. Hi, everybody. I love Sukumi. She's amazing. Um, Mecha mechanic. If you don't know me, hi. I'm Jean Famous. <laughs> well town, welcome in. Also known more used normally as Jets. I'm a mech pilot from Australia. Here is my mecha on my on my uh, bag strap. Hey, thank you for following Twitch Australia Spades. Uh, you can find image of my Gen One mecha in my about section but i have a gen 2 mecha coming you guys want to see it you guys want to see spoilers i feel like you guys will appreciate this you want to see your spoilers of my gen 2 mecha you guys want to see you guys want to see okay this is top secret spoilers okay oh for your eyes only chat ready ready one two thank you for following wholesome that's all you get that's all you get <laughs> you won't tell anyone thank you thank you <laughs> we're looking no no looking <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's being designed by an actual professional mecha designer. I'm so excited. Leon, thank you so much for following. Uh, she put the cat ears on her mech. Hey, no, I didn't. I shut up. <laughs> also, they're not cat ears. They do this. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Snoopy Boogie, welcome in, guys. I hope you had an amazing stream, but please, if you got to head off, get food, get water, take care of yourself, stay safe out there on the internet. Yo, 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 I have spoken what I was doing earlier. <laughs> what were you doing earlier? <laughs> Do you find, feel, feel comfortable telling the class? RGB cat is. <laughs> Shut up, Sukumi. Sukumi is amazing. I love Sukumi. Jetpack, if you guys don't know Sukumi, please, please give them lots of support. They're also a mecha enjoyer, so you gotta, you gotta, you, and they have like a massive Xeon merch collection. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> thank you for redeeming the blim. Mm, thank you, Geo. Mm. <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> um, but today, if you do you want to guys to hang around, we're going to be playing Valhalla. It's a cyber bartender, like a visual no novel, uh, with drinking, um, stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I just know it's been recommended many, many times. I was getting very distracted just beforehand, and we are talking about 
uh, sh uh, shipwrecks at the bottom of the ocean. Oh boy, yeah, 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 it's really good, it's really good. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. I was watching a web mm -hmm. cartoon I was mm -hmm. waiting a lot for and the main mm -hmm. characters of this mm -hmm. cartoon came mm -hmm. across a door that is mm -hmm. unlocked with a mm -hmm. vocally spoken P asterisk mm -hmm. asterisk the P asterisk mm -hmm. asterisk is mm -hmm. the one word that can get any mm -hmm. guy insta cancelled. <laughs> Why was Lodging passcode FA1 censored? <laughs> top pack. Thank you for the stupidos. Whoa, JRM, thank you, thank you. Why was passcode censored? It made it sound like Venus. <laughs> <laughs> it made it, that sentence sound way more sus than it actually was. <laughs> Valhalla is a comfy game. <gasps> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. S. <laughs> Pe oh. S code. Pe S. <laughs> um, so yeah, this week has actually been very comfy. This whole week is kind of comfy leading up to the V, uh, v uh, uh, at the end of the week. Yesterday was super comfy. Uh, Valhalla, we're going to settle in, grab cups of coffee, do, try and do some scuffed voice acting. Try and do some... <laughs> what a perv TTS. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the best code, ass. You're telling me your passcode isn't ass? 1234? Come on. <laughs> Be honest with me, Jetpack. Um, but no, um... We're going to do scuffed voice acting if there's certain characters and it's going to be big comfy and it's going to be a lot of fun and then uh, and then tomorrow I'm going to break I'm going to roll down a hill I'm going to roll down a I'm going to run up a hill and roll down the grass the roll down the grassy knoll hope hope I survive in one piece and <laughs> and then uh, and then uh, we're going to do we're doing a bunch of like random games on Thursday which I'm actually really excited for I'm almost more excited than VR I don't know why but I am. I don't know. Playing weird games on stream is always fun. Always fun. No, you know you first, Jets. Stop naxing me! I swear to God. <laughs> I do not give consent to be naxed in chat. Jets on the grassy knoll. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to make a mech deal with God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Up the hill backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but today's been very much a wait. Valhalla has a sequel coming out called Nirvana. Nirvana the band, the show. <laughs> Nirvana the band, the show. <laughs> uh, N one R V A N R is definitely delayed. No, well that means we can play it after this one. It's been delayed for years. <gasps> no, not stuck in production limbo. That's the worst. That's the worst. Um. Man, every time I hear that song, I see the awful Sonic video. Sonic video. Oh my gosh. It's delayed, but it's I've still got my wish list. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Nirvana. Nice. But Kurt Cobain, the music. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, let me hydrate. Do you guys actually want to head over to the game screen? I feel like I've procrastinated enough. I feel like... I want to move my headphones today. They're super cyber. We're going to do, head we're going to do headphones today. We're doing headphones. Um, let's get into the game. I have procrastinated more than enough. Yeah, also, it might be warm, but I do want to wear my jacket. I, I was like, this outfit looks like it would suit. Does this outfit feel like it would suit this game? I feel like it would, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It's just mostly because burnout and head rider and stuff. They do want to finish it, but yeah. Oh, damn. Cha. <laughs> Cha. Oh, Cha. I'm sorry I missed you if you, were, if you were in chat earlier. It's cold in Valhalla. Okay, that makes sense. Don't catch you, base. It looks super cool. Thank you. Uh, does anyone remember the Turtle Beach headset that came with the Dead Island game? No. <laughs> Char, I hope you're doing well. Char is a big cutie. Can we actually get a shout out for for Char? I don't know how many mods I got in chat. Oh, Kelly Sin, can we please get a shout out for the amazing Char? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> That's so much text. Also Saturday, okay. my mm -hmm. buddy got the test kit mm -hmm. for a narrative-driven cowboy mm -hmm. bebop TTRPG. Cool. And long story short, uh -huh. I escaped the cops. My yeah. fellow's party members mm -hmm. left with the headless body of the town mayor what? and we narratively declared my character is a double agent for a rival bounty hunter. What? <laughs> how is how is headless not censored? I'm I'm sorry. What? Let's get into the cyber. Let's get into the Valhalla category. V A. 
not Valorant, not Valorant. Oh my God, for shame. No Valorant, Val. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Why is there no audio? Oh, oh, I know why. Ooh. Damn. I, get, I already know this is going to be good. I already can feel it. Jetpack, do you feel that? Are you feeling what I am, Mr. Krabs? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? I, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Eargasm, yeah. Are you feeling those vibes, Jetpack? Damn. Okay. Valhalla, yes, yes, yes. We'll see if this is um, a good location for me to be sitting in. If we have to adjust it going forward, we definitely can. Um, uh, almost hit me as hard as Shadow of the Wars. Shadow of the Wars, oh, interesting. This is very Jets core. Yes, the Jetpack. This has been requested by the Jetpack, I think on multiple occasions. So I'm glad that we're finally sitting down and actually playing it. Um, this game has such a good soundtrack. That can really make a game. Let's turn it down just a little bit. But I kind of want to keep the volume up. I really want to, I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Dorothy, don't get me excited. Don't get me excited, Jetpack. <laughs> Jacket was a right call. Now you look like the set character on screen. Yeah, let's go. Thank you for playing Valhalla. The game has, is best played, getting comfortable. Oh, 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 everyone, 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 get ready. Okay, listen to the game. We need to, we need to listen. Okay, Jetpack. Thank you for playing Valhalla. This game is best played, getting comfortable, Grab them some drinks, some snacks, and enjoy. You gotta sit back, relax, have a good time. Whoa! It's already starting. What's already starting? Okay, we're, we're thrown right into the action. We're thrown right into the action. Um, 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 um. <laughs> Sitting with a coffee. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. Okay. I went for some water and you're playing it finally. Heck yeah, let's go. So, do they teach you anything or they just ex Anna, psst, psst. Hey, over oh, yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, why is the pro, I, I swear there was a prologue. I started playing beforehand. You get a tutorial? Yeah, okay. Cause when I opened it just beforehand, a prologue made, made like started, maybe because I, Maybe because I, I closed it and reopened it before stream, it didn't play the prologue. Damn it. Okay. Boom. How's that for an entrance? What's her voice? Is she like, is she, is she young? Is she young and bratty? Let's turn this down a little bit. <laughs> do, we, do you guys want me to do bad voice acting? Um, it's on the main menu. Uh, this is what you mean junk in the title. It's gonna be another comfy stream with a heartwarming cat. <laughs> <laughs> but it's definitely gonna be comfy, definitely. We might actually, let me adjust the, let me adjust the capture because I feel like I'm in the way of some things. I feel like I need to be like down here or, unless we do this, unless we do this, does this work? If we do this, can you guys still read everything? Would this be okay as a screen overlay? Because I don't want me to be covering all the stuff. That's good, that's good. Give them accents, that will work. Sweet, 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 sweet. Looks good, nice. Give them accents, what's her accent? Scottish, <laughs> my bad Scottish accent. <laughs> Put my face in the CRT in the corner, I actually could do that. No, don't tempt me, I will. <laughs> don't tempt me, I will. There was a demo for this game, it was made into a prologue where you play as another character. Ah! Uh, how's that for an entrance? <laughs> I know you can and I want it. No! Unless? No! Unless? <laughs> um, Anna. Come on, Joe. Look at Sharp. <laughs> Make us sound like Shrek. Like, hey, I'm starting. And a player needs a good first impression <laughs> of the main character. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't do Scottish. <laughs> we can't do Scottish. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo clad co corgis. Corgis? <gasps> Wait, what? Oh, nice. Congrats on 3k followers. Jets, Muni, Hypers, Gene, FA1. Let's go, Helm. 23 cheer. Uh, 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 
we're, 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 we're ten off. We're ten off. We're ten off. Unless no, unless no, unless no, unless right the Corgus, the Corgus. But thank you for the congratulations. But Twitch lies, and we're not actually three K. So don't believe, don't believe Twitch's get slander. Don't believe the slander. And you know what? Even if we are or we aren't, thank you all for just being here. The Corgus is the prologue. Corgis, Corgis, like the dogs. Twitch lied. Twitch is a liar. Twitch is a slanderous liar. Damn it, we missed the prologue. I'm sad now. Do we do we just exit the game and we start start so we can get the prologue? Um. <laughs> Go sling a salami. Wants wait. Do we have to actually get to do that. Just remember who the best skill is. Jill. Okay. Okay. Over the weekend, and the bar will eventually close. Wait, close? Close because of the Colgus? Dude, it's, it's, it's all important. You're all important. Fuck you. <laughs> and I'll admit, my little prank on you might have been a bit overboard. Exit and pray the prologue. Exit and pray the prologue. There's an intro, but the prologue is a separate thing. Why the fuck is L OBS telling, telling me this bullshit? I've never had this before. Wait a second. I, the weirdest thing that came up in my OBS pop-up. Guys, this is so strange. It's like... It's like this big purple bar. It's like, remind people to follow you. You can interact with your viewers by telling them to follow you to see your experience next time. Fuck you, OBS. Don't tell me how to stream. Ew, ew. <laughs> Just a drone boy. Don't listen to my OBS slander. We, we can follow you better not. It's listening. Fuck you. <laughs> Backseat streaming. Shake my head. Exactly, exactly. Okay. OBS selling out. I can't believe it. Uh, thanks, OBS, but please don't backseat. <laughs> Exactly. Um, okay. Are we voting we restart? Are we voting we restart? Or do we just go, go into it? We just jump in head first and we learn as we go. Let's learn on the job. Let's learn on the job. Time to unfollow and then follow it so I can listen to the OBS overlord. <laughs> Never followed a single VTuber ever and you should keep it that way. <laughs> uh, ignore this four months badge. <laughs> This lady spooled up. I like her. This lady, yeah, she's great. Um, okay, okay, okay. But remember, life is 90% an hour you take it. Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. I have no idea what the brighter side of things are, but you should totally find it. <laughs> Wait, why are you shouting me out on my own stream? <laughs> mods. The mods wildlin'. The mods wildlin'. <laughs> <laughs> the prologue is optional, but I recall it being a cinematic into the menu. Oh, damn. Uh, <laughs> no, I meant you, Hungus Bungus, but what if I'm Bungus Dungus? Come on, think about it. You can't just be coming into a chat calling someone a Humongous Bungus if they're a Bungus Dungus. Come on! <laughs> Gotta show a little respect to my name. <laughs> In any case, you should totally check that parcel. Oh, no. Um, the Unabomber? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> See ya! Okay, um, okay, but time about time to action. What are we doing? Jill! <gasps> Wait, Jill, 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 Jill. Is she like soft spoken? Wait, let's go. <gasps> oh. oh. Mm. Just a dream. Hmm. There's something near the door. Chapter one. Premium. I'm not going to click anything in case me clicking it skips something. Okay, 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 okay. Damn, you got COVID. Oh, I just started. Yes, yes, I just started. Ion, I just started. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the support. Yeah, there's absolute energy, this lady. Yeah, I've had one caffeine and not, I'm, and I've had my meds, so I should calm down actually. <laughs> Peep the lock screen. The lock screen. Can Jets mix drinks? I actually. Though, despite working as a mech waiter, I never worked as a mech bartender. Though I, I applied many places. <laughs> a mixologist, yes. Your membership to the Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account at least has 800 by then. Oh, we have to make sure we've got money in the bank. Making that bread. Make sure you have your data using the Life Backup app. You can now browse the augmented eye. 
They reject her application when they realize she can't handle one one point five white claws without getting wasted. <laughs> I'll give one backseat tip. You have to pay bills, buy things to make you happy. So balance carefully. Okay, this is my first time doing a game specifically like this. So I actually really appreciate that backseat tip because budgeting, we get to learn if I can budget. We can, Today we, we find out if, if mech, mech tomboys can budget in real life. <laughs> um, Jess is missing the doggos. I tried the doggos. We'll get it. We'll get them next time, boys. Um, um, the slut t-shirt in the back. <laughs> Stop buying candles. No, I like buying candies. Nuts. Okay, I'm sorry. Floor. Floor? So who was that letter from? Jill. Nobody. Hold to unlock. Me and my boss. I love my boss, apparently. I love my boss, apparently. Four? Good deeds. I really wasn't. It really wasn't. I apologize for that. <laughs> you guys should all clip up, click off the stream right this second. Floor is the cat. <gasps> cat, cat and game, cat and game. Best game, best game of the year. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. I thought sign ups handled your bills and grocery shopping. Ah, it's a bit of like, okay, like think about it this way. Sign ups is like, we'll give you an allowance. Uh, but also like they don't, I'm fully independent, but they're like, you work hard and you get your allowance. <laughs> Julio, welcome in. Click on Jill and floor on the screen and sometimes it does things. Best boss. I really like my boss. I like that. Okay, so add app. Welcome Jill. What's this? The augmented eye. Mass emigration continues as Wonderlanders are the newest threat. Cyborg in heels returns next year. That sounds amazing. Also, are we a little too loud with the BGM? Let me know and we can adjust that. Uh, but just let me know. You guys comfy in <laughs> Julia, that's very sweet of you. Um, you can click those, by the way. Now, everything sounds good. Amazing. Oh, we can click them. Oh, it gives us... Oh wow, we, you could spend a lot of time in this game if you really like lore stuff. Do you guys want me to read out all the lore? Like the, the, the news articles? Or you guys are like, fuck it, get to the action streamer. <laughs> the Augmented Eye. Mass immigration continues as Quincy reveals new economic adjustments by Kimberly Lavalli. With inflation rates among the highest in the world, constant shortages of the basic growth of reason rampant violent crime, glitch city citizens look for a better life in other countries. Quincy, however, isn't happy with his. They learn in our schools and universities, the Prime Minister said during a talk with the augmented eye, but they apply what they learn somewhere else. I find it rather insulting. <laughs> This comes after revealing a new economic measure for the city, which most analysts consider to be useless for the current environment. <laughs> they don't know shit, concluded Quincy. <laughs> uh, I want to see Cyborg and Hills. Cyborg and Hills returns next year into the Super Silver Thunderdome by Lena Smitty. The popular show Cyborg and Hills returns to the dome this March with tickets going on sale in January. Cyborg and Hills is a massive stage show about a cyborg fighting terrorism while wearing heels. Director Quentin Hader explains Cyborg and Hills special appeal during the This is great. I like this. I like this. This is really good. This is really good. So you got music. Oh! You can choose any of the songs? That You can choose any of the songs? Oh, wait, you unlock more? Will you remember me? Everything will be okay. I don't want spoilers. This is your playlist? Does the game automatically- I don't want spoilers for like musical notes. I'm gonna leave it. I don't want spoilers. That's really cool. That's really cool. Save load, save load, save. Save, save. Yes, perfect. First save, let's go. Oh, I guess you could do multiple saves if you want to un unlock multiple endings. Cool. Um, go to work, go to work. Yes, perfect, perfect. You can set them on your bar too for the jukebox. Oh, brilliant. Uh, work time. Time to get down to business. Okay, no slacking around with the cat. 
I got I got drinks to mix. I got shaking to do. Shaking, baby. Jill, good evening. Eh, hey there, Jill. Is this a is this a this is a dude? This is a dude. Uh, hey there, Jill. <laughs> I'm gonna forget all of these. I'm gonna forget all of these voices. Okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> hey there, Jill. <laughs> Oh, hey, John. <laughs> when will you admit you have a John face? <laughs> Gil. Gillian! When you let people call you Jules. <laughs> John. <gasps> like me! I relate to this character. You guys all call me John. I feel, I feel a specific kind of kinship with this lad here. Also, we have similar color palette. We've both got the... We've both got the... the the tie and the jacket. <laughs> wait, wait, is this me if I was a dude? <gasps> no! <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> I just need a goatee. <laughs> oh, he even has the purple. <laughs> Thank you for following Yimix. Welcome in. It is, it is. It looks like he collects records, so yes. <laughs> I am John. Wait, do we take the jacket off? Wait, take the jacket off. And the bag. Look, me and John with the same. <laughs> My kinship with John. John famous. Quiet. You okay? You look distracted. Where's the boss? I don't know. He went out to buy some stuff and. <laughs> Did you hear what I just told you? <laughs> You said something. Yes, but you look distracted. Very distracted. <laughs> it's a little loud. I'm gonna turn it down just a smidge. Okay. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about stuff. What stuff? <laughs> well, I have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful, and... Uh, <laughs> It's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Wait, too real, too real. <laughs> um, not to mention the fact that two days ago I found out the bar is at risk of being closed. Oh no! So not only is my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, neutering four left me with a completely empty wallet and I got evicted if I miss- I'll get evicted if I miss rent again. And there's all the beer cans around my apartment, and... Jill! <laughs> Sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can! Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. <laughs> Man, I've been crazy and crazy for 10, 10, 10 years, that's nothing! <laughs> Time to mix drinks and change lives. That's the plan, baby! <laughs> a piano man? That's great. Dad, yeah, she's just like me for real. <laughs> I'll skip the rest, but be with me for a sec. Bear with me for a second here, okay? Hmm? Let's start with the sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar in the recipe book that will show up on the top left. Nice. You can also sort drinks by flavors. <gasps> Ooh! Ooh! You can change the TV channel. Hazy zero. Cool. Okay, I like cool. We're keeping cool. <laughs> We're keeping cool. <laughs> I like cool. <laughs> like sweet or manly. <gasps> Jetpack, this is the perfect time to talk about what you guys' favorite flavors are when you get cocktails. I'm personally a bitter and citrus fan. I love, I love bitter citrus flavors. Drag the desired amounts of ingredients from their cells on the right to the shake it in the center. <gasps> nice. Gil. When done, press the mix button and then press it again to stop mixing. Okay. Click the serve button or drink the drink itself to serve it and that will be all. Oh, but if the drink looks messed up, you'll need to press the reset button and try again. You can press the reset at any time, even while the shaker is moving. Don't be afraid to use it. Gil, I'm the one that went through the formal BTC introduction, and this should be no problem. 
<sighs> I like sweet drinks, just my tomboys. Shut up! <laughs> I'm a bittersweet guy. Citrus, yeah! Citrus and bittersweet. I'm totally like that. I'm a bitch of sweet and chocolatey. Ah, oh, I, I respect that. Me chocolatey, chocolatey cocktails. I can't think say that I've really ever had one. I'm fond of Manhattans. I like sweet, but somewhat sour drinks. Uh, sweet, but not necessarily fruity. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay, so we go to this. Top left, it said. Top, wait. Where was, where do we find the, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Gil wants either a sugar rush or a piano man. If I mess up the ingredients or the drink, I can press reset and try again. By name, by flavor, by type, by bottled drinks. By name. We can do S for sugar rush. Let's do sugar rush. Okay, sugar rush. 150. Holy crap. How much was the how much was the piano man? 320! Okay, let's start easy. Let's start with um Let's start with the sugar rush. We'll start we'll start with the basics. We'll work our way into this. I'll try and see if I remembered anything that I just read. Give him the grizzly temple. <laughs> um I don't like the taste of alcohol much. Oh, that's fair, that's fair. I like some sweet things. You can stick an assortment of parasols in. Oh, like a like a um, um, tiki tiki bar. This game so far reminds me of a game called Coffee Talk. Oh, that sounds lovely. Have you ever tried a Belgian beer? I've tried German Pilsners, but I don't know if I've ever tried a German, a German, oh sorry, a Belgian beer. I got a sweet tooth, but I hate beers despite handling my alcohol better than most. Interesting. I lean sweet and acidic or fruity citrusy things. <gasps> I'm so glad we've got so many citrusy enjoyers. I am big on citrus flavors. I'm really, really big on citrus flavors. It's just like something about that tangy bitterness. I love bitters. Bitters is good. Coffee talk is fantasy Valhalla. Ah, there's also uh, free in the humble bundle vault. Oh, cool, cool. Citrus makes it go down easier. Yeah, I like anything with passion fruit or grape grapefruit. It's Sweet, light, and fruity. As girly as it gets. Sweet, girly, and happy. <laughs> okay, it's two Adelheid, one powder delta with optional carotene. Okay, so you do like this. One, two. Oh, this seems really easy. Pow one powder delta and optional carotene, like that. And then all mixed. How do you know when you've mixed it long enough? How do you know when you mix it all of it? Oh, how do you know when you've oh, all of it? Oh, oh, you just need to make sure it's all mixed together. Oh, so some of them you'd mix separately and then add more to it later. <gasps> I see. I see all caramo. <laughs> If it starts shaking more vigorously, it's gone too long. Ah, oh, so there's a mix, and then if you let it go longer, it changes. You missed it for too long and made that. It looks perfect, give it to him. I don't, wait, 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 now I'm, I don't trust you guys. Someone said it's too long, someone said it's perfect. Yummy. Yummy? Is this yummy? Are you guys lying to me, friend egg? Is this, is this a lie? Should we serve this? No, wait, why are you? Oh, yes, you have a bee. You have a bee. Nah, serve it. <laughs> the name will show up correct if you made it right. It's a failure if you just see it and share the Drake's name. <gasps> you, you liars, you liars, <laughs> you liars. <laughs> okay, so we need two Adelheid. <laughs> God damn it, chat. I can't believe half of you guys are trying to set me up. <laughs> believe in your heart. Okay, I want to put this. Then we mix like this. And stop. <gasps> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> People are gonna have tummy ache for this. They say, hey, I'm the best bartender in the business. Welcome to Jet's Bar. One day, we will literally have Jet's Bar, okay? I'm gonna have a suit, I'm gonna have a tie, I'm gonna have a glass of whiskey in my hand, jetpack, Jap Japanese whiskey, you know? You guys are gonna be, you're gonna rule the day you ever doubted me. Here, happy now. <laughs> a little, but not quite. Let's do one more. Okay. Ah. I know, I know. Please humor me for a bit. Oh god, he's got such like sassy, sexy boy voice. Some drinks need to be blended. <laughs> Why does that feel like that suits him? 
This is done by mixing it for over five seconds. You can tell it's being blended when the shaker starts moving faster. <laughs> also, you need to check if the drink should be served on the rocks or aged. <laughs> check the ice and age buttons on the side to select the one you need. <laughs> this is this is do do, do jets do jets. <laughs> In that case, it wasn't obvious. On the rocks means you have to toggle the ice tab. <laughs> It should be noted that the station will add the ice after mixing. Okay. It's not something you should mind though. Just a fun fact. Okay. Give me a moon bloom blast and I'll leave you alone. What's a moon blast? Keep in mind what I said. Okay. It's a fun fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give Gil a good old fashioned moon blast. Thunder drinks need to be left to mix for at least five seconds before you stop the shaker. Okay, we need the moon blast. What? <laughs> hey, I, moon blast in this economy. Hey, I wasn't the one that said the name of the of this. Also, I love this character here. Moon blast. <laughs> also, I really, really, really thoroughly enjoy this character here. I feel like it kind of looks like how I draw TV versions of, of, of like of like jets. I'm so good. It's so good. Sweet girly happy. I like that our, our sassy boy, our sassy like cool guy, loves all the girly drinks. It's very charming. There's six alhide, one power delta, one flan and two kabababuma, all on the rocks and blended. On the rocks, baby. On the rocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. One the flanagrambaga, one power delta, and two come into mind. And we're gonna on the rocks, baby. And then we're gonna mix it for five five seconds. Ready, jetpack? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, what is actually making you count? That kind of is like act, like real bartending. Uh, the character there is the boss. Wait, oh, the, the dude is the boss? He's the boss? He's the boss? He's the boss. You can turn scan lines on setting. I can turn scan lines on? I can turn scan lines on? The shaker also shakes faster at five seconds. Ah! Def, keep them on, keep the scan lines on. Okay, we're gonna find the scan lines and settings after this. <laughs> they're cool, they're cool, get us the scan lines. Oh, you better believe it, Jetpack. After this interaction, we're gonna do scan lines. I'd buy that for a dollar. Sorry, um, here, did I muse you for long enough? You did, sorry to hold you. <laughs> Let's get working. Settings. I'm sorry, I'm just loving the music. The Robocop reference? Yeah, the Robocop reference is so good. Now we're vibing. Game of the century. Okay, I'm so glad you guys recommended this. I am having the time. <laughs> this is the most jet score. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, before I forget. Hmm? You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. Oh, but if the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Oh, and if the recipe says it uses optional caramel to meringue, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. <laughs> optional caramel doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. Okay, caramel trine is the alcoholic factor in a drink. It, do it doesn't change the taste, but the amount Oh, that it has the effect of like, oh, it is how tipsy whipsy you get, how how bipsy dipsy you get. I like it. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster. So please be mindful of that. Ah, here we go. Is that why you guys are saying, is that why you guys were saying to to, 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 to fill it to the brim? Jetpack, <laughs> jetpack. <laughs> um, they're actually uh, really decent scan lines compared to most effects. Yeah, this is, it's so immersive. Uh, get some more super drunk full send. <laughs> oh yeah, before I forget, and ah, no! <laughs> Are you done with the exposition? 
the, all the camera try and bars annihilate me. Hell yeah, this one's on the house. <laughs> you know I am, yeah. <laughs> hey guys. Who are they? And oh, hi. Oh, but hi. Who? who? Jetpack, who are they? I love them. They look like they're in love. I love that they're in love. Can they kiss? Kiss, now kiss, now kiss. Who? Who's that? I don't know. I found her while I was out shopping. <laughs> Why are you bringing her here? Well, it was evil. Leave her outside of the Mercy of Society's finest or bring her unconscious body. Wait, she's unconscious? She's unconscious? She's boss. She's boss. This is boss. Boss suit. This is boss suit? Yes, boss. Why do they all have my outfit? I feel like I belong in this world. This is... I've never felt like I've belonged so much in a video game. This, this and World of Horror. This and World of Horror. I, I felt like I'm completely immersed in, 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 the, in the world. The best boss? Best boss? Next time peep your lock screen, look out for boss. Oh! Yes! Yes! The lock screen! She's going to make such a ruckus when she wakes up. You know that. That's up for you to deal with. I'll be on my office. <laughs> She's a badass. A few filters and you'd be right in this game. Damn! I wish it was easy to put plugins onto or oh, find good plugins for OBS. I've searched for like good VHS pl plugins and I can't seem to find any. I, you can't just push that responsibility onto us. We have to work to it. Damn it. There's two of you. Believe in yourselves. <sighs> Scanline Jets more when oh, I wish. I'm gonna go Ben Boss, Kaliosin. Have a lovely sleep. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and being such a good mod. Pet the mods. <laughs> Thank you, Kaliosin. Do you think Chief knocked her out? The Chief? The Chief? Damn. Now it's unlikely. She'd be crowding about it or taunting if that, if that were the case. Taunting? Crowding? Interesting. And it's not like her pick on such a small girl. At least not unprovoked. Yeah, you're right. We just need to keep it quiet. She seems just to be sleeping soundly, not comatose. Jean! I just write and download you into your brain. Hell yeah! My anxiety, welcome in! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay then, time to start the night. I missed a lot of exposition, but I feel like we're gonna, you know, get more information as we go along. Also, what else is on TV? Oh, wait, $5.99 for cup noodles? Yeah, we're keeping that one. Yeah, I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. <laughs> um, come again? <laughs> well, you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what. We've had some interesting clients come in. <laughs> $5.59.99, what a steal! <laughs> Dogs, a lot of them. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> You know for how long now do I look like the kind of woman that would make a joke like that? <laughs> well, <laughs> so as punishment for leaving me to do with all that on my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathroom. <laughs> Have fun! Just that, fine. I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You brought that from home, didn't you? <laughs> that I did. <laughs> Fine. With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. I wonder what's the logic behind that decision. Ah, <laughs> uh, a nice little meta game reference. That's a bit cheeky. I like that. I like that. Jukebox three. So we have to choose what songs we want to put in. Oh, so we we get to choose the songs on the jukebox. Oh, what? You get to make a playlist? I get to make a fire playlist? I get to make a... F oh, yeah, that's going on it. That's going on. That's going on it. Who? 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 What's this? Wait, hold up! Flames, 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 flames.
Nah, it's a bit too intense for a bar. I'm thinking like smooth, smooth, too sad. Too sad. Oh, this is the kind of music I could get depressed over a beer too. Yeah, see, this is, it has the mood, you know what I mean, you know what I mean? It has the mood to it, it's like... Maybe, that one's, that one's, that one's a maybe, that one's a maybe. New avatar? Yeah! Too much, too much. See, that's a club song. We need like, when I'm talking bar music, I'm talking the kind of music that would work for, work for like, Yeah, I like that one. That one's good. Star Pierce is in the dark. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's so good. That's so good, Snowfall. Some people want to... Now some people want to be drunk and sad. <gasps> oh my god, you're right. Snowfall is so good. We haven't even made it to halfway. Ooh, ooh! That's a little bit too perky. Dawn approaches. Oh my god. Reminiscence. I see. I like. I like. I'm imagining this bar is like a dive bar. We need, so we need like dive bar tunes. Digital drive. Ooh, too much. Too much. Too much. It's your, <laughs> your bar. Too much. I'm, I, I need it to be comfy. Oh! <laughs> There's themed bars that play rock music? I see. I need my bar to be like somewhere you go to like get really upset about the android girl. I need my bar to be the kind of bar where you're like upset because the android girl doesn't call you back. Yeah! <laughs> like this is where you go. Nope, too much. It's a glitch city, baby. Every bar is a dive. But mine has to have, like, the most... The most divey feel. The boomer cat girl rejected me. Feels exactly, exactly. <laughs> Perfect. I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Ooh, yeah. We mix it. <laughs> if it's too sad, we can change it to all the hype songs. If it's too sad, we can change it to all the hype songs. She won't call me back. Exactly. That's what the feeling is. You're going to come in here. You're going to order yourself a, a piano man. You're going to sit down. You're going to think about the, the long neon streets and the, the coldness of the neon glow. <laughs> you get a chance to change them during the day. Ah, oh, awesome. Hey, you. Get me a beer. <laughs> Oh, sure, right on it. Sweet, a uh, bottle drink? A beer, a beer, a beer. A quite a big guy, by type. Oh yeah, that we can just grab beer, sweet, beer. Oh wait, you have the mixed beer? You make beer? <gasps> We're making like bath hooch? We're making bath hooch? He's a big guy. You're saying, you're saying, you're saying more cut cut him, cut him trying, aren't you? <laughs> okay, one of these babies, two of these. A little bit of this, I'm feeling that. Two of these, just for good measure. And I'm thinking one, two, three, four. Classic, bubbly, vintage. <laughs> um. Traditionally brewed beer has become a luxury, but this one's pretty close to the real deal. All mixed, so 
Not too far. Not too far. Let's go. Mix. It's my speciality. It's my speciality. It's my speciality, jetpack. I I know how to drink a beer. I know how to make a beer. <laughs> Gil said you can make big drinks by doubling everything. But but wouldn't wouldn't it be too much? Because we filled out the entire bar. We'd fill it. We filled out the the ten bars already. Because he said you can't go over ten. We'll, we'll try it next time. Here you go. No, 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 this isn't gonna cut. Give me a big one. Oh, jeez, I'm sure. Oh, wait, so you, I thought, okay, wait, you're right. So you have to, you have to, okay. One, 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 two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, you can double it. You can double it. Okay, because I was worried that this would be... Gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Ah. Because I was worried that this is going to be, like, full already, but you can, like, double it. Okay, sweet. How about this one? Yeah, yeah. Now this one's fit for a man like me. <laughs> Right. <laughs> You're lucky I was in a meeting close by this hellhole. Could certainly use a present like mine. <laughs> wow, this guy really thinks highly of himself. No more than 10 of each ingredients. Oh, no more than 10 of each. I see, I see. Although, to be fair, work has taken me to worse hellholes. Like New Jersey 3. <laughs> what happened to New Jersey 1 and 2? Huh? What kind of work did you do, mister? You're talking to Donovan D. Donson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Oh my god, it's him, it's him, it's him. New Jersey 3. This time it's personal. <laughs> Nothing gets published here without my boss. The day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbits then. Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. <laughs> Can you blame them? The idea of some wild card hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's. That's the kind of corner shit that brings the clicks <laughs> from all kind of people. <laughs> and the clicks bring money and the money brings nice stuff, baby. <laughs> stuff like cars, houses, plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. <laughs> Well, I'm not complaining about the fact you write about the hacker. It's just you write about them every single day. Some of it isn't even news. It's just speculations or copycats. I can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. <laughs> the poor bastards think you'll help them make full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this topic where it's popular. Yeah, I gotta respect his honesty. I gotta respect his honesty. The second you're tired of an article about a supposed hacker, but not all the daily stories about murder and other horrors. Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day off scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as it is. I don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But even the people who were like you, I go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. <laughs> you respect the stash? I do respect the stash. <laughs> Fucking cooled out. It's true. I just respect the stash. But I like that he's got the tie untied. Like he's business, but he's he's hard. He's been through it. Maybe I still maybe my job will be easier. How so? Kind of, yeah, he kind of looks like a retired cop. I thought he was that at first. People get a doesn't doesn't uh. People get bored of certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. <laughs> when I started this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Oh, now you need an elderly woman crying, a sick boy getting hit by a truck. That's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. <laughs> That's why I like those urban legends. They're easy to write about. You can make up any shit you want. <laughs> 
Spend them why the hut. Even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. I like his grin, he's like, eh. <laughs> that brings money. Like I said, money good. <laughs> uh, I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't they a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those brats. <laughs> they just write about how they're better than everyone else. <laughs> um, they might also write about how everyone likes a certain something that should be sodomized. The worst part about that is they know half our clicks come from them, so they get all the diva like on my ass. <laughs> I think you're being too harsh. What about... No, wait, I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columns in your pages are annoying. <laughs> See? <laughs> the kids on the restaurant critique column. Um, uh, shit. I forgot that brat's name. A restaurant, I believe that is, uh... That kid couldn't la care less about his name. <laughs> anyway, his column's the least visited of the bunch. Gets less hits than the ob obituaries. <laughs> um, uh, he still insists that he, uh, that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with it if he actually wrote about half of the places he visits. How so? He rarely write about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to get free meals but proclaiming he's a food critic. Poor bastard it only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming in here asking for free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. Did he look like a fat child with a really small face? <laughs> Really small face, like 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 a like a um. Oh, I'm trying to think of like the characters from Alice in Wonderland. No, wasn't this one then? Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Try and give me a beer this time, please. <laughs> Coming right up. A beer again. The Tweeties. Yes, that's what I was thinking of. The Tweeties. Like the really really round with tiny tiny faces. Okay, we do two of these. Four of these, two of these, uh, four of those ones, and all of these, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we mix it up good, one, two, three, four, five, eight, here. Oh man, you're gonna love this game. I'm already really liking it, apart from the fact that I shouldn't have, I should not have chose that voice for that character, because I already feel exhausted. <laughs> as long as you don't mind the reading. I'm a little bit I'm a little bit dreading it. I feel like my dyslexia is already acting up. <laughs> um <laughs> We've got money. We've got money for rent. We're doing good. Talking to him has been worthwhile. Eh, hey, it's the big thing. That makes life worthwhile. <laughs> what about big troubles in little China? Did I stutter, kid? <laughs> right. So tell me, do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? <laughs> Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. If a place smells like soap and dog piss, I'm within my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. <laughs> I'm doing my best here, thank you very much. <laughs> big troubles, big clicks, baby. <laughs> but literally. <laughs> and reading really good. We're just chilling. Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad. Who is that? <laughs> Nobody important. Hey, I heard that! <laughs> Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. <laughs> you can think of it as a small hole in hell, rather like a hellish hole if you'd like. <laughs> Charming. <laughs> so, celebrities. He's just trying to get a scoop. He's just trying to get a scoop. Not really, and at least not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. 
<laughs> you ain't making me feel sweet in the cheeks. <laughs> Uh, and second, because I'm always a for gossip rugger and the famous kind of people. <laughs> Especially the red carpet kind of famous. <laughs> Those folk people pretend to love, but actually want to see. Oh, oh, I pretend to love, but I actually want to see him fall from grace. Yeah, of course he does, because it makes him pay his paper popular. I pretend to love, fall from grace. Why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells? People pretend that they love slibs, but what they really want to see is our idols torn down to their fucking level. <laughs> I made this guy more and more up, <laughs> more and more cartoon-like as I went along. <laughs> Don't want to see him suffer, twits. I get that comeuppance for darling so much more successful than me. <laughs> nah, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys, but no one wants to admit to enjoying. You don't wrong! <laughs> but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. <laughs> they want to escape their lives by living somebody else's. <laughs> Sadly, I failed to see the pillow in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals, or if they're dating God knows who? Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public indecency, but still. <laughs> you made him into a gruff ex-cop. I know, I didn't mean to. <laughs> it's the way he looks. His, his outfit just screams gruff ex-cop. Not, not like... <laughs> <laughs> this city makes me sick. <laughs> oh, please, as a bartender, I bet you have your strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that stuff. Just like hairdressers. <laughs> Sounds hypocritical coming from you. <laughs> he's just getting drunk. Exactly, he's just getting drunk. <laughs> I just gave him the John Jonas. Oh, from Spider-Man voice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want those pictures, Peter Parker. I don't actually remember his voice. <laughs> Uh, uh, e even if that's the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. If I don't make it more than that person, you know, from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day I saw this committee uh, judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. Steve Harvey? He kind of looks a little bit like Steve Harvey. Harvey, I need pictures of Spider-Man. He's a menace. <laughs> no matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem is just because they're the ones constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. <laughs> I'm going to make him more drunk. If he orders another beer, I'm just going to make him slur his words. <laughs> Going to exotic look girls, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. Oh, that just leaves the pug craving for those little moments where they make mistakes and fall to their level. <laughs> Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see that they're human. Hey, that dude plays uh, the nice guy, and indeed, he actually is a nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be a knowledge in the first place. Yeah, I like your big words, a eh, Brett. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, two can play at that game of, uh... Uh... Hmm? Mm, uh... Hey, you're a bartender, right? <laughs> uh, no, I'm a lab rat hellbent one world conquest. <laughs> Me too! My god, we, we, this character is just like me, for real. Sarcasm, waste my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I just realized that bartender of you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. <laughs> Talk about changing topics. Maybe, why? <laughs> when you like a column talking about those, I bet they would sell quite a bit well. <laughs> It would be like the priest who published confessionary stories and then got excommunicated and lynched. Oh, jeez. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. 
version of mm, stranger of sorts. We could have your ghost writing. If a will stay if do that, we'll conquer streamer. Ah, uh, I'll put a pin in that. We'll get back to it later, Egg, I promise. <laughs> they do? You don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Figures. A anyway. Eventually, the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt me as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their, la their lives. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, the elf is waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. <laughs> <laughs> He's spilling the drink to the train. It's true, it's true. Mr. Donovan. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just, uh, really like the sound of that. <laughs> Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. <laughs> Is it really that special? The work everyone calls me Mr. Dawson, or boss. This is just a title, it's too impersonal and cold. Is it? Mr. Dawson was my father and my grandfather. There's two journals, but Mr. Donovan. Now that's more like it. <laughs> Donovan's so epic, I love him. He's so good. Cyber drunk, explain. We're doing cyber bartending, yeah! <laughs> I'm not the top, we're, 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 we're mixing drinks, we're a mixologist today, we're drinking and we're chatting, we're talking to clients, thank you for the toss, Free. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 I, I, if, if it gets later, I might crack a beer, but it's still currently before midday, so it would be, uh, it, it would be, even as an Australian, it'd be pretty, pretty, uh, wild to crack open a beer at, like, <laughs> like 10 and 10 30 on a Monday <laughs> uh, They're referring to me the dumb man in front of them not to my family not to my position in the bus But to me Tuesday day drinking. Yeah, no, nah, I don't think we should <laughs> Even as an Aussie gets a bit much Do you want your employees to get personal with you mr. Donovan? Oh gods no <laughs> But I want them to fear me not because I'm the boss or the name appear in their paychecks. Rather because I strike mortal dread right into them. <laughs> cold one in the morning, cold one at night, ain't that right? <laughs> oh no, I accidentally opened up 3D Pinball! Fuck, I accidentally opened up 3D Pinball! Fuck, fuck, that was an accident! 3D Pinball, no! 3D Pinball, no, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Oh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. <coughs> uh, <laughs> um, starting tomorrow, I'm going to make everyone call me that. Oh yeah, you were asking something. What was it? A uh, drink. Another one. Do you? Eh, uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, I need to cut myself out of. Uh, I just remembered I got night shift later. Give me something bitter, big, but not alcoholic. I need to wake myself up. <sighs> Oh, bitter, big, not alcoholic. Okay, I can do that. Bitter, big, with no alcohol. Okay, by type, can we do non-alcoholic? Girly drinks, uh, bitter, bitter flavor. Let's go bitter drinks. Uh, a grizzly temple. Uh, cardamine, can we remove frothy water? <laughs> uh, sunshine cloud. Optional cut of mine. Bitter, girly, soft. I don't know if he wants girly. I think we have to do something that's masculine. Optional. <gasps> Good gut punch. Gut punch. Bitter, manly, strong. <gasps> do I place my order here? Yeah, yeah. Tell me what you want. I'll get you something. Okay, okay. I'll get you right settled up. So now cut of mine. Okay, this is optional. So we can do Bronson and Flam Grum from Brian Uh Yo, yo, welcome in. Margarita time. Give him a sugar rush. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna give them head spins. Okay, I think this is a good one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 
and we can do one and two and two. That should make it big. On the rocks or each, nothing, inf no information about that. Uh, I'm bitter, manly, and strong. I think you'll like this. You can share it, serve it in a shoe. We'll make him do a shoey. <laughs> yeah, are there shoeys in this game? Real question. Uh, aged, no ice. Did he say aged? Aged a mix, boss. You think we should age it, mix it? Oh, yes, you're right. Age. Hey, thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. Age and mix. Okay. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. Let's go! Oh, I love this game. Tyler Master, welcome in. This is the first time playing it. It was recommended by the community and we are having a lot of fun. Okay, let's go. Serve it up. Here you go. Bank me blow and go me so you can actually do it. Hey! <laughs> you liked it. You liked it. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, don't we stay up late tonight? <laughs> Take it, this bar of any invested. He didn't call it a hellhole. There was some bloke named Steven that uh, wanted to give us money if we swapped his... stamp his face all over the place. <laughs> but aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, uh, so there's no local investors. Why? Just wanna let you know how, uh... lucky your bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh god, I just got that. I didn't get it at first. I didn't get it, but um, <laughs> Ooh, uh, you buy, <laughs> you buy. Um, don't <laughs> go. We're back in my day. We used to call it the Blade Runner's dream of sheep or the throat go. <laughs> It's like the porn parody, the Android's lean dream, and no, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I didn't get it at first. I thought he was talking about a passionate kiss. No, no. At first, I thought he was talking about a little smooch, like a little mwah. I didn't, I thought he was talking about a little, a little peck, like a little, like you really had the But, uh, that sounded like a grandma smooch. Oh, that sounded like, you know, like one of those cartoon ones, like, come to grab me. But then, then it, then it hit me. Um. Now it's a, it's, a, it's a kiss downstairs if you get my, you know, you, it's your, your bye. Uh, those bastards think they're so important because they put their money in the company. Well, what? I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing. I'll give you your money. But no, they have to stick their nose and start changing the silliest of stuff. Oh, now he's getting drunk. What fucking good is it to be the boss? You stick out of work for some fucking else. Oh, she was not, a, not an alcoholic, but I still feel like he's getting drunker. But you still have to answer to the unions and the government and those kind of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's just paperwork. It's bureaucracy. I make someone else do a call of the day. These losers ask for fucking meetings. <laughs> they start talking about stuff. Oh, I don't like stuff. They found offensive. <laughs> and there's always that one guy, a gal, is like, hey, why don't you do what the other newspaper does? <laughs> Recently, they told me that they needed more clicks. More clicks! <laughs> I'm making sure to keep some spicy by still keeping production quality up. It's never enough for them. <laughs> well, you know what? They want more clicks. I'll give them more clicks. <laughs> I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and don't reject ideas. <laughs> They'll know the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. <laughs> Uh, should I be worried? Nah. At least he paid before storming off. I wonder what happens with Steven though. We never heard from him again. Sven, Sven. Jill! Yeah? What the hell happened in that bathroom? <laughs> I feel like he looks British. Is he British? Should we make him like British? <laughs> I am a very innocent streamer, okay? Uh, stop quoting me like that. Stop quoting me like that. <laughs> Rexadak. He's South American. Oh, I don't know if I could do an accent, a South American accent. I don't know if I, if I could do it properly. Can we just make him British? <laughs> Can we just make him British? 
I want to, I want him to be like such a like a non. I want him to be like not not a nonce, but like a um 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 like a ponce, like a like a like a a ponce of British accusations. <laughs> that kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. Like I want him to be like, oh, I'm Gilligan. <laughs> Don't compile my quotes, please, God, no. I've already got my worst bits listed somewhere in the recesses of my brain. <laughs> Crafty dogs, I tell you. You think their short legs wouldn't hinder them? The ceiling, it stinks, the toilets, the vents. <laughs> I don't know if that's good. I don't know if it's a good, an annoying British twat voice. I don't like it. Um... The French champagne has always been celebrated for its excellence. Gilligan walks in like, <laughs> The swirling, the shing, the vans. Shh, you'll wake up Friar Rose over there. I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I, uh... Big gut punch, best. Now he looks like a punk. Like he looks like a oh, aw yeah, mini any Christ. Alright. Uh gut punch. Uh, I wanna give him a gut punch, alright. Okay, I'm gonna name uh G gut punch. Uh, I think we're gonna give him give him the the, the come on come kim kim karma truring. Karma truring. One flung run. One. Ooh, we said that. Okay. One, one, two, three, four, five, and <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, chat. I think we should make it alcoholic. I think we should make it- I should think we should make it, um, <laughs> all aged and mixed. Um, he said big? Did he say big? He wants a big one. <gasps> no, Rakaman doesn't count for big and small. Okay, he wants a big one. Okay, uh, two flanagride and then one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll just fill this up. <laughs> I'm gonna murder this man. <laughs> Wait, should I not give it that much alcohol? He's, he seems like he could handle it. <laughs> should we not? Should I discard it? Should I? He asked for it. I mean, I, he seemed pretty much like. No, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. We shouldn't try and kill. Him. Wait, I don't want to give him alcohol. No, 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 no. I don't want to give him alcohol poisoning. We can reset. We can reset. I don't want to- no, 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 I don't want to give this my alcohol poisoning. We won't get his storylines. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do, like, one, two, three, four. That's enough, right? I think that's enough. A little, little spice, but not too much. Like, he can handle that. Let's not go- let's not be too crazy, Jetpack. Okay, we'll give him a gut punch, all right. Tactical alcohol poisoning. Agent, thank you. Good one. One, two, three, four, five. I think let's let's make him a little sh don't underestimate him. I think I'm not drunk. I should be drunk I wish I was oh, I want now. I want alcohol. I want a cocktail. Can you Uber Eats a cocktail? <laughs> um, I Here yeah. Hmm You can actually do it then I think his voice needs to be more gruff. Can I like I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy my vocal cords I'm gonna destroy my vocal cords, but I feel like he needs to have more of like a, uh, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a dwarf, like a dwarf voice, like a dwarf voice. <laughs> this crack house is a buh. Hellho, crack house? It smells like dog urine, so hell yeah, you expect someone to feel comfortable in here. I'm surprised you decided to come to our little crack house at all, mister. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says, Sorry for the questions then, Mr. Igram McDonald. <laughs> Sorry about the smell, we're working on fixing it. There was an accident over at the weekend. But it's Tuesday. Hmm. Please let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant, regardless. <laughs> I pay you. What? Will you come with me to a motel for a couple of hours? Disgusting, gross. No. I have no use for you, but you're giving me drinks. Such a pleasant clientele tonight. <laughs> May I ask why you decided to come to our bar then, sir? 
Somebody recommended me this place. I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all, and I'm starting to doubt her taste. <laughs> a regular? Can I ask who? No. McDougal? <laughs> McDougal? McDougal? It's Tuesday, ain't it? Show them the pinball machine you have at the bar. Chat, I'm not opening Space Cadet Pinball. Imagine like having Space Cadet Pinball being playing in the side. <laughs> Jewel gaming. Jewel gaming. <laughs> I can see one thing. If we put some music, at least it's decent taste. Hey Jill, where'd you put the dish so? Gills run out. Blow this thing, it's where it's always been. Right. Oh, a customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you're enjoying your stay at Pahala. So, any of your other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? Uh, every time you... Oh! Oh, actually, that's a good idea. Wait, that's a good idea, Egg. Okay, let's do that. Every time I mix a drink wrong, I have to play around a Space Cadet pinball. <laughs> Okay, okay, deal, 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 deal. <laughs> okay, deal. Remind me if I do mix the drink wrong. So, any other feedback you want to provide? Yeah. Nah, nothing. That's an interesting uh, change of heart. I can't avoid a slam in this place knowing that she's here. You know my boss. I don't know her, but I, I know who she is. Dean or Zane, the red comet. The woman who fed it off small rioters all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. Uh, that's an achievement and, uh, and a title I've never heard before. <laughs> I know the boss did quite a few things before it means bar, but that sounds. She happens to know how she's got her mechanical arm. <gasps> Wait, the boss has a mechanical arm? The, the boss has a mechanical arm? That's so cool. That's so cool. I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. You have an interesting change of attitude. So that woman take out an arm rider with her bare hands. Did you see something like that? It's hard enough to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax, though. I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved a class 5 weaponry, the other a pickup artist, and the latest had an alpaca. <laughs> an alpaca! Alpaca! An alpaca! An alpaca! Not really an alpaca, but... There's this woman that owns a textile company. She's got really drunk and she started screaming she was an alpaca. What? She started spitting on everything afterwards, and my bought to sh at the show her the accent. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's just leave it there. Can I get you anything else? Uh, give me a pile driver, please. Please? Well, that's a word I haven't heard today. Coming right up. Pile driver! It's like a really nice Arctic monkey song called Pile Driver Rights. Waltz that I really like. I want to pull out driver. I honestly feel like suplexing him though. <laughs> um, active disinformation sounds good because then we get more pinball. Hey guys, no! <laughs> we found out who your boss was and became team. That's kind of that's kind of charming. Okay, all mixed. Uh, three Bronson extract. One, two, three. Three flangrain. One, two, three. And four come one, two, three, four. I don't think he said double. I don't think he said double. And there's no age or ice, and so it's just mixed. I don't think he said double. Uh, manly bitter burning. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I think I think it should be okay, not double. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fine, I guess. Oh, should have I done double? <laughs> hey, lady, have you ever faked an orgasm? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I think I heard that wrong. 
I asked you. <laughs> That's the question I'm not going to answer. I'll take that as a yes. I just think about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere of people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually, but for a moment, the lie can give meaning to you. Uh, I say lies are like your porn stash. You know, they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. <laughs> this game the dialogue okay I didn't expect it to be so spicy I did not expect the dialogue to be so spicy <laughs> <laughs> to blink the drink next time blink the drink you mean put more alcohol in oh my god does that mean you really faked an orgasm because you look like you got a lot of experience uh Still, that's quite a random thought to suddenly have. <laughs> Are you perhaps lying about something right now? <laughs> Just calling me a hoe. I mean, I do have the slut t-shirt in my bedroom, so I we uh, <laughs> it does explain the slut t-shirt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not really. I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. <sighs> of course you were. Yeah, I'm gonna need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. You love the references except the Metal Gear ones? St stop reminding me I haven't played Metal Gear chat. I know! <laughs> the Valhalla Strange Run is... 25 minutes for the record streamers. So you're on a world record pace? I am? Wait, I actually am? I don't know. I feel like you guys are you guys are bullshitting me. Okay. <laughs> well now the boss with the red robot hand. What could that mean? Okay, I've seen uh I I follow Kajima on Twitter. Okay, I didn't I didn't get it. Okay, I didn't you uh, shut up chat. <laughs> Alright, I think we can give this lad alcohol poisoning. He earned it. I don't want to give him Fringe Weaver. Nine Carameline? All aged and mixed. Should we do a double? You can't do a double. You physically can't do a double. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Jetpack! That's not good. That's so much alcohol. Bubbly, classy, strong? I don't know about classy and bubbly. It's like alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. I don't want to double it. We can't double it. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Fring Weaver. I think they've just abbreviated it because of the slot, so I hope that I got that right. I hope I got that right. Uh, try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Hey, lady. Have you ever felt empty? Empty. How? Like, hungry? No, I, I mean empty like there's a part of you missing. I can't say that I particularly have. I just feel like this is part of myself that just lacks something. No, guys, he's drinking away. He's drinking away his sorrows. We can't, no, we can't give him alcohol. No, we can't. I don't want him to drink away his sorrows. Knows to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? Yeah, like Gumpla! Or card collecting, or board games, or video games, or or knitting, or crochet, quilting, or pinball. 
It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Yeah, never stop working. Always work. Then you never have to think. That's the best. This is the first day on the job. Yep. Any suggestions? Crochet. Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. Like, I love that none of these were my suggestions. <laughs> I forget that sport is a hobby. I forget that sport and exercising is a hobby you can do. It's not just like weird <laughs> art thing. <laughs> Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. Yeah, you have spent a lot on alcohol, sir. Which is bitches and alcohol. <laughs> oh my god, this dude. Physical activity. I know, Sukumi, what does that mean? Lazy cat girl. Hey, okay, I'll concede. You guys can call me a cat girl as much as you want, even though it's not true, but I'm okay with laying around in the nice sunny spot on the ground. Like, this guy, the bar. <laughs> I'm not a cat, but I will I will concede that if there is a spot of sun on the rug and my cat's laying there, I look down at her and go like, wow, you've got this right. And then I lay down next to her and we lay in the sun. And sometimes I, I don't nap, but I just kind of like rest my eyes for a bit and it's really comfy. I tried sex. What the fuck is sex tourism? Wait, wait, wait. I tried text sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs I left midway through. Let's burn my Christmas bonus high and three women for an orgy. Point is way more amusing and way cheaper. I also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day for three years in a row now. Why is that? Why does he add that after the sex stuff? Why is he, why is he adding that after the sex stuff? This is still still curious, but um, nothing seems to do it. Um, have you tried rescuing a puppy? Yeah, but why? I'm 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 don't know if I should read the dialogue for that one. I don't know if I'm not reading the um um. Uh, I'm drawing a blank. Then can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me, or believe me. Eh? I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Huh? Anyway, I'm leaving now. The smell's killing me. Lisa, come again. Don't count on it. What a charming fellow. What a lovely guy. What explodable audio? Yeah, you guys are not getting me. To, I'm not reading out anything you guys can explore. <laughs> no, I know how Twitch chat works. Nothing personal, kid. <laughs> he's still feeling bad about not alcoholy bombing this man. A little, I mean, like, it, he's hard on his luck. He's not a bad person. He's just had bad experience. And he's just empty. And he just has very, um, everybody has vices, Jetpack. Everybody, his vices have just ended up becoming part of his entire existence, which is not good. Phew. Well, so I'm gonna take a break. All right. Cool. Oh. We did it, we made it for one day. Going for a smoke. We did it, we made it for day one. I love this song, it's my alarm. Ah! Oh! Whoop, no, not load, not load. Save. Uh, let's do that. Yes. Day one break. It's just a break? Oh god. <laughs> we only made it to the break. It's now safe to keep playing. When do we meet the cat girl? I mean, <clears throat> I mean what? I mean, when do we. I mean, I mean when do we. Old Android buttons. <laughs> At least I didn't get lock up this time. Oh, we can change the music. Okay, what was... Oh, you can change the positions of things. What should we, what should we add in? What was, what was, what was to... I liked, I liked our playlist. What about, uh... How 
probably you probably sort one out. Like add songs by clicking the titles on the left. You can move them by clicking right clicking. Ah. Oh. Okay, let's just do that. I like the playlist so far. I like the playlist so far. But if you guys actually, next time round, next time round we change the playlist. If you guys have specific songs that you really, really like, we can definitely add them into the playlist. I think that'd be a good idea. So if you guys have songs you really like, we can swap them around. Back in action. Oh, Android voice. Good. Wait, Android voice. Okay, fuck. Um, um, good, good, e good, 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 good evening. Okay, I'm gonna destroy my vocal cords. Please enjoy. <laughs> good evening. <laughs> um, would you mind taking your helmet off? It's so comfortable. I usually I get I have it on. Is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get you, miss? Uh, Master Specialties, Sergei Piyasagi of the 75th Division Valkyrie Corps at your service. Wait, that's too long. Uh, just call me Sai. What can I get for you, Sai? Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm in the mood for a sweet drink, uh, but not too sweet, uh, as in cool. Although a cool drink would, would be nice too, um, just, but not cool as in great, uh, and not, especially not as in big. Uh, more so since I have to get up early tomorrow and I can't afford a hangover. Uh, I'm sorry, did you, did you get that? Uh, a sweet drink, preferably a cold one, not too big, right? Yeah, that's it, that's it. I can do that, give me a second. Something small, sweet, icy. I wonder if I have something so specific. By flavor, sweet drinks, blue fairy, small, sweet, icy. Aged, no, not, we don't, not aged. Aged on the rocks, mixed. Small, sweet, icy. That's quite big. Sparkle star. Oh, that's quite small. That's aged and mixed though, damn it. Uh, a Brantini, aged and mixed. Piano Woman, that's pretty big. I think our best bet was the aged mix on the rocks mix with the Piano Man. I think our best one was Was it the Sparkle Star? No, that's aged. Sugar Rush, mixed. Um, piano Woman, is Piano Woman our best one? How's the game, how's the game being uh, so fast? So good, so good! Sparkle Star, that was aged, fuck. Sparkle Star, no, ah. Oh, sweet Drinks. Piano Man, like the sad bastard song, yeah. Moonblast? I think you might be right. Moonblast. Okay. Sweet and icy. Sparkle Star? I think the Sparkle Star was pretty good too. But it's not on ice. Piano Woman's too big. And then the Brandatini is aged. So I think you're right. I think it's gotta be... I think it's gotta be... The Moonblast. Did you not see Ace? No, I see, I see, I see. Uh, you're very understanding to others. I kind of forgot how it's like to be that. Thank you. Work so much. Thank you. <laughs> um, mind you get a cut out of everything you sell. You can double the size of most drinks. Yeah, but I'm not going to double the drink for her. She's so sweet, small. She doesn't. No, no, no. We'll just give her this one. We'll give her ice. This is, it just, it seems big. So I feel bad. It feels like it's too, too. Okay. One. Two, three, four, five, six, Bund Greening, and Power Delta, and two of these ones. I think this should be okay. I think this should be okay. On ice, on that, and then blend it, and blend. One, two, three, four, five. 
Nope. Whoops. 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 Okay. Whoops. Nope. Shut up, chat. Oh, wait. Does that mean we have to do pinball? Wait, that means pinball. Wait, that means pinball. <laughs> wait, does that mean pinball? Oh, God. <laughs> this is such a silly bit, chat. <laughs> this is such a silly bit. This is... Chat, this is such a silly... <laughs> I'll just put it on the screen right here. So like when we when it pops up, it pops up inside this screen. <laughs> well, it fits right in. Meg, how you doing? Okay, let's go. One round of 3D. I'm not going to play a full round. I'm just going to do one ball. One ball. Okay, one ball. Not, not, not the full thing. Just, we're gonna do one shot. That's all, that's all. Ah, oh, my favorite drink. <laughs> my favorite drink. 3D Space Cadet Pinball. Ooh, big money. All I need is one orb. That's all we need, that's all we need. Ooh. You feeling the balls, Jetpack? Not like that, but you, 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 you know, you're like, Keeping the eye on the ball. I meant, I meant, I meant keeping the eye on the ball. Ooh, triple, 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 triple. Ooh, that was close. Um, pimple time, pimple time. I'm feeling these balls. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Welcome in, dude. Welcome into the jetpack. Big money. No, 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 no. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Just, I'm just playing the pinball machine at the bar. Okay, please understand. Oh, no, 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 we're losing momentum. We're losing momentum. <laughs> we got this. I haven't dropped it yet. I'm surprised. I can't believe I haven't dropped it yet. Ooh. <laughs> I can't believe I haven't dropped it yet. <gasps> I'm doing better than I did yesterday. How am I doing so much better? The practice. No! <laughs> that was that was good why I lost it. <laughs> good game, good game. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, Nick, how are you doing? Jill, Jill playing during work time. What a shame. Hey, you know, I gotta check out how the pro pro gamer. Yes. Okay, let's reset. I think I didn't shake it for long enough. That was a problem. So we go six of these. One, two, three, four. Five, a little bit of tsh, a little six, a little splash of Power Delta, and a little smudge, smidge of Slender Green. Two of these, pop it on ice, and mix it. One, two, three, four, five, and a little faster. Stop. A little roll over my shoulders, jetpack. I'm doing a little spin, spin of the wrist. You see that? You see that? You see me tossing them? I'm tossing them. I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm juggling. I'm juggling, I'm doing, do, 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 I crack it, smoke comes out the top of it. And I set it up for the lady. <laughs> Lurking jet streams and work, hell yeah, I hope, I hope the wage cage is cheaping you okay. I gotta make sure the uh, machine still pins, uh, exactly. <laughs> Can't stop the game's over, no, no, no. Every time, every time I, dr I, I, I miss up a drink, we do one ball, one ball. <laughs> Here you are. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is just what I needed. Thanks. We don't get many white knights as clients. I can only remember one other, in fact. You said you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? Are you guys who deal with the riots and stuff? Riots? Oh, no. You're thinking of the Blixcreed Corp. Blixcreed Bop! Sorry, um, the ones with the huge plated suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're, we're different people. I mean, obviously we're different people, but like we don't deal with the riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with the aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal, and protect. We are the angels who soothe the suffering enemy attack. <laughs> That's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. Jay Thrash, welcome in. I, I, I'm, did I make the right call by doing like a bit of like a more of like a cute, like dairy dairy voice for her? She's so awesome. Gio's like crushing right now. Gio's got mad, mad crush going on. 
to be fair, I see we're talking about. She's just like cute tomboy Hatsune Miku. Uh, we're the light of hope in the darkness of times, the ones who assist the victims of crimes. We watch, we protect. Uh, what was that? <laughs> Sorry, it's sort of our pledge of allegiance. We recite it every morning. What it means is that our duty mostly includes rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from stuff. Thank you for following Ji Gundam Wu! Welcome into the jetpack! What kind of stuff? The burglars, rapists, car crash, everything that might happen on our watch. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? No, I know many doctors, but I'm, I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely to the doctor. Sounds like she hasn't been broken by her job yet. Poor, precious soul. We must protect her, Jetpack. We must protect her. If anything happens to this character. Wait, wait, hold up. Hold up. If anything happens to this character. No spoilers. But I swear to God. I'm also kind of like a firefighter. And I, I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a tough job. Sort of, but also it's really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. <gasps> She's so wholesome. She's so wholesome. You love her already. I, I just, she, okay, so we've been over this. The characters I tend to like in anime are the protect characters. Oh, TV's turned off. Let's put some cool on. Oh no, I wanna put the cool on. I like the cool. Yeah, cool. <laughs> There's a re re trust of fire and ruffle her hair. Ah! <laughs> I, uh, I've not played this. Thank you. That's good. The, be the, be the best position to be in. We're all ex you're experiencing th this together for the first time. She's so awesome. You must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building. I looked down and I was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on earth. Oh, and there was a time where we were clearing up after the aftermath of a car crash and there was water pouring out of a hydrant with the lights and scattered pieces of glass. It was almost dreamlike. Thank you for following Prime Hex. Welcome in, welcome in. She wants to protect, but we will also protect her. Exactly, exactly. That, that, that's not what I meant by sh shocking sights. No, but... Those are sights in there. They're, they're, they're shocking, right? Yeah, but... Ne never mind. <laughs> Wait, did I mishear you? Uh, you actually mean sights? Size? I, I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrating sighs from people after everything's said and done, but... Don't worry, you didn't mishear. I guess I was just experiencing a different kind of answer. <laughs> Kind of answer. Oh, she's so well behaved. Like she's trying to do her best. Like she's trying to. Oh, jetpack. <laughs> she's, 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 I want. I want. I want. I want. I want to give. I want to make a cup of tea. I want to make. A, I want to make a hot chocolate and put the mini marshmallows in it. I want to put the little marshmallows in the hot chocolate. I want to. I want to. I want to give her a big blanket and a hot chocolate and 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 and, and it's ah, with the small marshmallows. With the small marshmallows. I don't want to go to the Japanese sweet store and buy her all the cutest little candies. <laughs> don't worry too much about it. You finish your drink. Can I get you anything else? Um, something uh, classy. A, a, a classy drink. <laughs> Can you be more specific? Uh, don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks. It was just coming again. No problem, don't worry, a glass of drink. Right, let's see what I can find for you. <laughs> I want to make her the best drink on the menu jetpack. I want to give her the best, the best drink. Can we give her the nicest, the nicest drink we can get her? Not bad. Cobalt velvet? Burning, no, 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 we need something. We need something classy, fringe weaver. Bubbly, classy, and strong. No, not strong. Not strong. Um, what's a mercury blast? Sour, burning. Mm, 
I like this one. Sweet, classy, happy. Do we think that would be nice? A brand teeny? Sweet, classy and happy, just like her. She's sweet, she's sweet and classy. I just want to give her good things. I want to enable her to continue fighting those beautiful moments in existence as she talked about earlier. <laughs> Go and experience this summer. Oh. <laughs> also, think she's sweet. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. Okay, six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Powder delta, just to balance it out. You know, we're gonna do it the sweetness. Then we're gonna get the bubbles. And we're doing a little splash of the alcohol because, you know, she's a lady, but. And is it aged? Aged. That's how we know it's classy. It's an aged drink. And just mixed. Not too much. Not stirred. Just slightly shaken. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Here you are. Yeah. This looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, she's just the one I've known for the longest. She's like these kinds of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to hug. No, you know, the, the, um, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna hug. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. She's taken, that's fine. I, I just, I don't, she, I want her to be taken. I want her to find someone that truly appreciates her for who she is. I want, I want, I want her to find someone that cares for her. And I, as I look on and I'll hand her little crisp packets of her favorite flavor and juice boxes. <laughs> what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Third will, I'm fine. I'll third will happily. She's so sweet. Mm. You know my name. Now I want to know yours. Oh, sure. Just call me Jill. Jill. Hmm. Jill. Jill is short for Jillian? No, that's that's <laughs> no, that's not right. <laughs> Jillian. J J J J Julian. Do not call me Jillian, please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry about that. No, no, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. Um, but why don't you like being called by your full name? It's just a stupid reason. Don't dwell too much on it. Jillian. <laughs> I'm Jillian. <laughs> Miss Barter, they don't yell. I feel bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't have yelled at her. Oh God, no, don't, don't, don't Rex the deck. I'm just swear to God. <laughs> I shouldn't have yelled at her chat, I feel bad. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill, and I don't like angering nice people. If it helps in the heart, I really like this place. <laughs> that actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today, thanks. What do you like about it? Uh, the smell of dog urine and soap. <laughs> uh, my mum used to be a veterinarian and I used to go to a clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. <laughs> it makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. <coughs> what made you become a white man instead of a veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never really a good student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That's aside. It's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me and then this other white knight saved us. That's curious. That's so curious. Like she was being attacked but she was also saved by a white knight. <gasps> she wanted to be the good one. Uh... <laughs> she wants to do good in this world. <laughs> She wants to do good in this world. She wants to be a good dude. Uh. <laughs> so 
I don't remember what happened next. I just woke up in a hospital with my friend watching over me. I, I mean, it, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since I just felt this was my calling. That I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. <laughs> ah, interesting though. One would think being attacked by a white nag would make you run in the opposite direction. Thank you for the support. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. See, she wants to be one of the good ones. <laughs> she's so naive. She's too pure. She's too pure. She doesn't understand that she's part of she's part of the same team that hurt her. She's too pure. I I can't jetpack. I can't stop. I gotta. Oh my god. Oh my god. So I kind of guide myself towards judging everything on an individual basis. <gasps> well, not to be an extremist extent, but will you get me? Uh, yeah, I try and do the same. Uh, why join the Valkyrie Corps specifically, though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also uh, the one with the least paperwork involved. <laughs> and she's stupid. <laughs> and she's stupid. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but can I just say... Ah! <laughs> She's so innocent, it's gonna hurt. No, 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 she's not gonna have a Duma arc, okay? Okay, shut the fuck up. It's okay, we will we will keep her safe and pure. <laughs> she's also a fucking idiot, I love her. <laughs> now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad a term. There's not one specific type, there's many different classes, rescue, assault, there's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to companies and handling accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up processes. But a few assigned when a company is suspected of having weird under the table deals. Interesting. There was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. Oh, that's kind of wholesome. Ah! <laughs> they were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying canteens passed and they lost their funding. I believe some members still work with the anti-bullying cases in unofficial capacity. <gasps> oh, cool! That'd be nice, I think. <laughs> Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't avoid that many drinks. Besides, I don't really know much about alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> oh, she started rambling because she's getting more tipsy. <gasps> she started rambling of... Uh... Oh, you know what? I'll have something else. Uh, I remember some drink called a martini? A brantini? No, 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 I'm pretty sure it's a martini. It's a brantini, trust me, I'll get you one. <laughs> she wants a ma- I mean brantini. <laughs> Wait, we just made her a brantini, right? Okay, we'll give her another one. A brantini. I guess because in the future martinis don't exist, or is it copyright? Is, is martini a copyright word? <gasps> Is there copyrights around alcohol names? I guess there are for like branded alcohols. Like if you get like a, a, a Red Bull shot, that's branded. I don't know, that's interesting. I never thought about that. Drinks are copyrighted, they are, what? I'm gonna Z. No, that's all good. I'm getting triggered by the people. No, it's okay, you less. Get a lovely sleep. Bye. <laughs> I would turn to spaghetti sometimes. I cannot like <laughs> Geo spaghetti everywhere. <laughs> How about Corona beers? Yeah, yeah. Check the M tag. The M tag. No, no martini. Only, only, only brantini. Uh, good, good thought though. It could have been interesting if there was one actually in there. So brantini is six of these. This is what we made her last time. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, three power, dota, bum, bum, bum. And one kata, kata when I, a brand teeny. <laughs> a brand teeny, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Aged and mixed, okay. I think that's everything. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, stop. Hey, I'm getting good at this. I don't think I'm gonna be playing a lot of pinball. Here, see? Oh, you were right. Thanks. You know what? Well, I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple days. Oh, 
We're gonna bring her friend here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. More cute girls. <laughs> really, why? I like the feel of this place. I wanna share it with her. It might be a bit difficult, but she's more into um classier places. No, no, not that this place isn't like nice, but, but just don't, don't worry. I know the kind of place I work in. <laughs> I, I, I see. But it, it shouldn't be too bad. I just I need to. Whoa! What was that? What the? What that? Sound like an explosion. I better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah. Look, go ahead. Be, be careful. I will. <gasps> I hope she's safe. I hope she's safe. I hope she's safe. She left her helmet. Well, if she's coming back, I'll just hold it for her. I'll go check what the overloving hell that explosion was. Careful. What? Oh, she woke up. Oh god, what's her voice? What the fuck is her voice? What the fuck is her voice? Uh, mm, mm, um, 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 <clears throat> uh, uh, glasses and, and, and serious hair, serious clerk voice, clerk voice, clerk voice. I feel like she's gotta be like more serious. Oh, um, <clears throat> Velma voice, Velma voice. Jinkies. <laughs> Jinkies. <laughs> Head cannon, but this is literally you. Uh, 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 uh. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we gotta. I'm. Okay, I feel like she's like serious. I feel like she's. She's got like a lady voice, right? Save the high pitched Jets voice for a certain character. Wait, what? What do you mean? Um, she's 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 serious. She's serious. She's serious. She's like, um, uh, I, okay, I'm bad. Deep lady voice? I don't know if she's deep lady voice. Um, she's not like Bayonetta level of like deep lady voice. Unless she kind of has the glasses though. I'm seeing her as Bayonetta now. Oh no. Um, where, where, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? No, we'll see. We'll, we'll make it up when we go along. Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. That might not have been the best thing to say. <laughs> Look at the clothes. She's not mature sounding. You don't think so? She thinks she's dorky? She's dorky? She's dorky? Okay. Uh, book nerd. Book nerd. <gasps> She's like ditzy. She's ditzy. Valhalla, am I dead? School council leader vibes. <gasps> she's got like, she's got like absolute like ditzy voice. Ah, like that. Does that mean that Uncle Inga's ramblings about the afterlife look like a shoddy rock down? But a true? <laughs> He's a book nerd just doing a normal voice. I come from dialogue with myself. <laughs> Called it. Afterlife. I'm not dead. As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know how death or afterlife works exactly, but you're breathing, right? Huh? Uh. All right. Where the hell am I? How'd you get here? Who brought me here? Why were you wearing a suit with me? <laughs> you organ traffickers, robbers, ravens, pickpocketers. You pickpockets, aren't you? I'm just gonna do the most breathy voice I can do. What, what, what are you saying here, you think? <laughs> I wanted to sound like she could faint at any moment. I wanted to be like she's about to faint. <laughs> Whoa, jinxies. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to vent your worries, otherwise you'll just... You're a rapist, aren't you? Rapist, a whole lot of you! You want to take my clothes, beat me unconscious, you horrible way and brutally murder me, don't you? <laughs> While still violating over. Whoa, 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 I'm not saying that line. I'm not. I'm not. Fuck you all. I'm not saying that line. No way. No. Lady, please. I was working. Hey, baby, what's your favorite dojin? You. Uh, interrupt me? Uh, well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down or throw it at her face. 
Think carefully, Jill. Give us something that will calm her down. Calm her down? This lady needs to chill. Um, what can what will calm her down? Bottle drinks. What's some bottle drinks that will calm her down? Uh, um, spicy, bubbly. What will calm her down? Calm her down. Calm her down. Calm her down. Promo, promo, promo. Maximum alcohol. Make her shit face. You guys, no. <laughs> Zen star. Uh, mix. Is, is, is four of each ingredients all on the rocks and blended. Promo. Uh, boom like Grizzly Temple. Knock out the fucker. Non bubbly with a lot of alcohol. What's classic drinks? Throffy water? I kind of feel like frothy water. No, no, no. We need something that will calm her down. Uh, something sweet? Something sweet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe something uh, optional alcohol, something sweet to calm her down. Not sugar rust, but um, maybe like sp Sparkle Star. Sparkle Star. Sweet, girly, happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sparkle Star. I think we'll do Sparkle Star. Like, let's do that too. And then we won't add any alcohol, just something to calm her down. Yeah, sweet, girly, happy, uh, aged, and uh, mixed. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That looks girly. That looks like it might work. Um, 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 let's hope. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. What? What's, what's that? Uh, drink. You're in a bar. Bar serves drinks. Uh, bar? Yeah, she's definitely ditzy. She's so ditzy. I mean, <laughs> she's so ditzy. <laughs> what would I have? I'd have something citrusy. So, I figured I should give you something to help calm you down. Don't worry, it's on, it's on the house. To calm down? What did you spice it with? Rufus? DDX? Pumpkins? God, God, no! I wouldn't even think of it! The stuttering makes me... you suspicious, you know? If I ever added anything like that to your drink, I'd dock my PAM tips. Wait... What? You Fuck! Not the pumpkins! Not the pumpkins! <laughs> Not to mention, I had to pay any lawsuit myself. And that's the best case scenario I could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And then trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits a particular felony. They show themselves all proud for hefty PR boost. The thought of going through all that is just... Uh... <laughs> Even if you say that... Let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the caster that Donna Zane sent you. <laughs> Two flying cars crashed and went boom, and that's why it's so noisy. Any damage? A hole in the street. I don't know about the driver or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check inside the toilet paper locker? What about? Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, why? How? <laughs> I'm back. He tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? N no. No problem then. Try it on the drink. Ooh. Says negative. There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the cook at the store. He even knew your name. <laughs> Good point. First of all, it's not my name, it's my boss. Second, we're pretty much part of a chain, sort of like spicy chicken of buys. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you were right. It is indeed suspicious on my part, and I'm sorry. <laughs> you can just ignore the drink, go through that door, and forget this ever happened. That would be it. You'd be at peace. Nothing of value would be lost. <laughs> Are you implying that something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is unimportant? My lack of attachment will you no difference? <laughs> eh? And what about you? What are you gonna let this fruit of your record to waste easily? No, I... Uh, well, I'll let you know. I'm not that important. Your work doesn't matter. <laughs> Lady, please! I know, I know. Jesus Christ. I am not sure you should drink all so fast. <laughs> so, how was it? It was good, I guess. 
Less thinking, more drinking, lady. It'll help me calm down a bit, I think. Ugh. Are you all right? Yeah, I guess he was just telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd probably react the same way. I should apologize for my last comment, too. It came out insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. <laughs> This chick is so out of it. She's like classic. Okay, to me, this character is like classic anime girl in the anime. The anime character, Ditsy Girl, who has like. Oh, oh my god, she's my favorite Yuri Yuri character. And she's my favorite Yuri Yuri character. The chick with the glasses who is constantly having like fantasies. And, like her whole thing is like she's constantly nose bleeding and having fantasies. That's this character. She's like, ah, oh, they're all oh, fantasies. <laughs> She's the glasses chick having all the lewd fantasies. <laughs> Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you. You're unconscious and I and brought you here for safekeeping. And you in sleep to that car crashed outside. Uh, uh, I see. I guess it's just better to wake up here than on the streets, stripped of clothes and dignity and or organs. Uh. How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick. But I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. <laughs> and blames others for her own fantasies. Lady, please! <laughs> we call that a weirdo. And she's somehow both a Yuri Yuri sister glass. Yeah, 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 the sisters, the, sh the sisters. I'll tell you what, your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Consider an apology on behalf of anyone here for all the troubles we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. This music's too hype. We're changing this music out. It needs to be more chill. Yeah, you might be right. Okay then, I'll take you up on your offer. I'll have a, a piano man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just got the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up then. <laughs> She's asking for a piano man. I don't see women asking for piano men every day. Piano man. Ooh, sour promo and strong. Sounds like Jet's kind of drink. Honestly, I think I would enjoy this one. I think I would enjoy this one. It's two Alahide. Bum, bum. Three Brunson. Bum, bum. Five Power Dota. One, two, three, four, five. Five Flat Agreed. This is a strong drink. One, three, four. Five and three camera One, two, three. And you want it on the rocks, rocks, baby. And mixed up. About to get fucked. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. That's a piano man. That is a piano man. Now that everything's free, she's gonna start racking up the debts. The, oh no, if she, if she's like, was she passed out because she was drinking? Oh god, how is this gonna end up? Okay. Here. Yeah, this is the one. My dad used to drink this before actual pianist attempt to kill him. What? <laughs> what are you doing with that? I mean, to provoke the pianist like that. Wrong place, wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in a bar when suddenly the pianist left the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and that my dad looked like some music critic that had bashed him. I still hold my stance. He just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. <laughs> okay, she's me. Fuck it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Jazz, yeah, Jazz does that, man. Jazz, she's hardcore. I see. <laughs> the piano man has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend uh, of his that just died. Apparently, it mixes all the flavors said friend likes the most. Oh, that's nice. So, this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day at work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work, miss? Call me Kim. Kim, Kim. I don't know if I can say I work yet. No, so, I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called the uh, 
Augmented eye. Oh my god, everybody works with augmented eye. God damn it. I read it every morning, in fact. Donovan D. Donson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. <laughs> that bastard leaves his ring wherever he goes. So you believed me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horseblower. <clears throat> Harsh words. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about the things he wants people to have done before they realize what's going on. The voice makes <laughs> the voice you have when Nin I never heard. I'm you are you believe I sound like this when I was 18? What the fuck? I did not sound like this jetpack. <laughs> He's even got the pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. Would you believe it? The guy became a thief since server maintenance, despite having no previous experience. It's kind of admiral. At the same time, I hate his guts. Ugh. <laughs> Knowing that I have to work for him, it's... Ugh. Why are you working there, then? Uh, did, did I ask something I shouldn't have? N no! Don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's the hardest thing as a cook somewhere. Uh, you keep throwing, going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality. All the while answering to the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? I want to one point, I, I thought about being a bartender. But I was afraid that maybe my skin be closed and dance or something. This fucking woman! <laughs> Here we go again. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know. I guess I was, I was lucky for a hollow doesn't end up being one of those tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. What with one to put me somewhere safe and all. <laughs> <laughs> she is. She's cool and collected and has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Boss is badass. Boss is so cool. Um, wow, it's okay, Bob Rose. <laughs> no, she's been a bit tense the last couple of days. But even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. I would hate to just be ravaging on you. This fucking chick. No one has been, ever been more down bad than this character. <laughs> She's got her fantasies, that's for sure. She also has a mechanical arm, and I have no idea how she got it, but... <gasps> hmm? Sorry, I got carried away. It was funny to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. I do that? <laughs> it's nice to be nice to meet this boss of yours sometimes and thank her. Shall I call her? I should be glad to know you're okay. Oh, no, no, no. I shouldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One Bartini, please. Coming right up. Bartini for the lady in purple. <laughs> Let's do it, jetpack. And I will not mess it up. I'll get it perfect this time. I'm talking age Bartini. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six of the Alhide. Three, power, Delta. And one, come time. Nice. <laughs> Sweet, classy, happy. This seems more like a drink. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Here. Yeah. Yeah, this seems like the stuff. Cheers! Hey, Jill. Was this job like a lifelong dream or something? Not really, I just kinda happened. One thing led to another and BAM! Bartending! <laughs> Do you regret not fulfilling your dream? 
The only dream I can remember feeling passionate about was buying a model warrior jewel. Oh, oh, yeah, hell yeah, Jill. Hell yeah, Jill. <laughs> Can't say I've given up on that one. But alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase? Oh, really? I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams? Having a room where every piece of furniture talks, being a model warrior. Oh! Childish dreams. Yeah. I remember, I wanted to live in a koi pond when I, when I was seven. Fish seemed like they'll be having such a blast to me. So, no dreams. So, no head. <laughs> None that felt particularly motivating to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but I couldn't find it in me to study that. So I picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. I see. Finally! Those dogs left a mess I'm not gonna forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw the toilet paper out the window? Oh, kind of good night, ma'am. Jill, I'm gonna leave early. I need to take care of this smell clinging to my body. Sure. Who <laughs> was he? A ghost. Nobody should worry about. <laughs> oh. I heard that! <laughs> Why were you asking all those questions? Because now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idolize the idea of dream jobs too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want to be with life. Yeah, that's just a fuck yeah, Jill spitting facts. Uh, some take a liking to a job, other find it after many attempts. Sometimes life takes unexpected turns and you make changes to your plans. What I mean is, don't worry too much about it. <sighs> Maybe you're right. Uh, I'm gonna take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please. Thank you, boss, on my behalf. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Come again. <laughs> and that's it. Are we done for the night? It seems like it. Where's Gil? Where's the girl that was here? Gil cleaned out the bathroom and left because of the stink. Kim woke up, had a couple of drinks, left. So she's called Kim. How'd she look to you? How was she? She was rigged out when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. Hmm. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. <laughs> hey boss, do you feel like calling you boss is too unpersonal? Uh, not really, no. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger, it's just out of habit. Oh. Uh. <laughs> anyway, you're free to go after finishing off the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathrooms. <gasps> Let's go! Big money! <laughs> Big money! Wow, some slight serious talk on a Monday night. We can see Dana's arm now. Oh, let's go! Big money! <laughs> they pay her at the end, every, end of every day. Holy shit! Your membership to Shining Fingering will automatically be renewed by the 17th. Make sure your account has at least 800 by then. Jill has lost the thought about her hollow plants. Buying it, it will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now brain danger you. You can now visit JC Elton. Okay. There's me and the boss. Ah, the best boss. For when are you gonna have curry yesterday? I'll go source my money. Fuzzy, welcome in! So you can go to the shop? Wait, hold to unlock. We now have D and A E. D. Danger, you, dangerous, you. Mickey concert. Talk about Alice Rabbit. Mickey concert. And then we got the A E. Augmented I. Local hero woman. 70% of our readers consider, I think, Alice Rabbit. Should we just read the Alice Rabbit ones? JC Elton is a Deus Ex reference. <gasps> oh, cool! The cat talks. I think the cat talks. <laughs> I think the cat talks. I feel like I want to do the cat's voices. 
goes took the money. <laughs> like how my cat talks to me, she goes like, <laughs> shop, window shopping. Hover to an item to examine it, double click to buy it. Cute clay house. Maneki Neko. Oh, a Neko! <gasps> poster. Cutesy game poster. Assorted cartridges. Crack Duruma. Alex figure. Movie poster. Christmas tree. Replica toy. PC9X. Vintage gaming? Oh! <gasps> Joker's cyclone. Hollow plant. In memory of real potter plants. Paper lantern. Ooh! Bugs from eating it. Beer on discount. <laughs> meet the staff. Scrub a paper. Download code for meet the staff scribbled. Ma uh, Kira banner. Shoulder massager. And Mulan tea. PC engine bog. She mentioned the hollow plant. I was thinking that. Let's get the hollow plant. Sweet. Let's get that. I think we still have enough funds to get, uh, to pay the finger people. Let's read the stuff about the, uh, um, hacker. I feel like that would be interesting. I want to read about Alice Rabbit. Don't trust this dog. A dog, you say? Why not? After receiving brain enhancements, they're capable of learning at near human speed. So why is it so impossible to imagine a gifted dog who uses that brilliance for programming? It makes a lot of sense. Well, maybe. Oh my God, there's zeros and ones. There's zeros and ones. Ah! Okay, I wanna read the, I wanna read the Alice Rabbit stuff. Let's talk about Alice Rabbit. Uh, wait, I want it say on the tin. I so, wait. I s wait, no, these, these are like, these are like, oh, these are like typed down, like, in, like these are, oh wait, okay, wait, wait, this is like typed down, binary, binary, Erin <laughs> from Cowboy Bebop, oh, oh, wait, those could be decoded, what it says on the tin, so what's news, drawing a blank, I haven't heard of Alice in a while, um, what's happening, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm learning, <laughs> uh, I haven't heard of Alice in a while. I think you're planning something. Wait, do they have anything about the zeros and ones? Uh, you why? <laughs> Happy not birthday. Sounds lame. Why is Alice even a celebrity? It's a forum. Okay, it's like a, okay, it's a forum. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alice was one of the who linked all the internal white knight memos. This thread close. Okay. Let's. We, we can't add it. Oh, let's, we've already saved, right? Save. Perfect. Uh, happy not birthday, cheeky bastard. Oh, she responds to the, to the thing she reads. That's really, that's really cool. <laughs> she responds to the, um, the music is so good. I uh, right, Cleo, welcome in. I like that she responds to the stuff. That's really good. Um, I want to tell you all the cool things about this game. <laughs> so does the cat. That's awesome. Akamura, welcome in. Welcome in. Hello. Sit, welcome in. Um, but I want you to find them all. Ah, there's like things you can find. I want to click on things. Click, 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 click. Oh, we got the hollow plant. Let's go. Hollow plant. Okay, let's go to work. Back to business, baby. Wednesday, December 14th. Good evening. This is my boss with the helmet. Hey, Jill. <sighs> what? <laughs> That's the sound you don't hear every day. <laughs> boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just to ask, about to ask you where it came from. A white knight came in yesterday. She left it. And well, she got to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it under the counter. Wait. Do you regularly put things on without asking who they belong to first? <laughs> um, I don't plan and eventual evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. <laughs> tomboy tag, nice. Yes, I have local Australian tomboy, Jean Famous, known as Jets. Welcome into the chat. Um, anyway, your boss. Uh, I'm, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. 
You sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable and cool and comfortable and cool and really, really cool. <laughs> Hello? It's strange that you're late, Gil. <laughs> yeah, the traffic was gah. <laughs> Don't run, you've got work to do. <laughs> I'm not going back to Hong Kong. <laughs> Hong Kong? <laughs> Ch -ch Chief? So sorry, I, I thought you were someone else. <laughs> Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you and detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. <laughs> The, the what? The where now? Nothing. Never mind. <laughs> hey, free helmet. Really cool. She seems happy. She's been tense these last couple days. If she's somehow relaxed now, good. God, I love Di Dana. Dana's so good, right? Uh, are you all set? Yep. All right. Oh, she's pack. This, okay, do you guys have a specific song? A specific song that you would like to request? Um, a specific song. Uh, she's the best boss. It's true. <laughs> she's she girl bossing. Snowfall. We got Snowfall. Um, we got Snowfall. Every day is night all the way. Do we have every day is night? I don't, okay, let's put, let's replace new avatar and put every day is night on. Uh, I'll scroll through them. If you guys see one you'd like and you want to replace, let me know. Uh, she's my football picture. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, Umeto? Okay. 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 I got to I've got to I've got to You guys, bro well, you do? Hell yeah. Oh, this is a banger. Okay, we're going to replace Drive Me Wild with Umeto. Let's go. Ooh! Yeah! <laughs> Time to mix drinks and change lives. <laughs> hey, Brat, you're in luck! I decided to bless this place again. <laughs> luck, he says. Hey, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? Uh, beer? The usual G. I wrote him with beer, 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 beer. Definitely beer. Definitely double strength beer. Yeah, double strength beer for our boy. We know it. We know it. Double strength beer for our boy. Oh, two of these. Four of those. Three, four, and a whole eight caramel. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go. And then it's nothing on the side and just mix it. One, two, three, four, five. I think, I think this is what he wants. I think this is what the game music. Oh, the game music is so good, Jetpack. Let's go. Here you go. Yeah, yeah, now that's what I call a service. <laughs> I've forgotten what his voice sounds like already. That's good to hear. What brings you today, Mr. Donovan? Today we're supposed to hand the interns an article topic. All those crazy bitches came flocking to me like first high schoolers with a car. <laughs> I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. You're supposed to be doing an interview today, but I hell with that. <laughs> and thanks to all, my sh all that shit, I found myself here. Blessing your hell hole in my presence. You were here yesterday too. How, how did that come about? There's this thing, Gail, performing a concert later tonight. <laughs> yesterday I was turning the details of an interview I have with her today. <laughs> And like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches. <laughs> I see. How was the interview? Easy enough. The fact that the gal had a nice pair of knockers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan, but sir, I. That's. <laughs> oh god. 
We've come a long way in this department of Lilium sex appeal, I'll tell you. <laughs> she has a Lilium then. Yeah, one of those new fancy cling class Chia models. I heard they were anatomically correct in every way. I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. <laughs> this touch is such a geezer. To me, he's such a geezer. Hmm. Hey, you, the guy with the John face. Huh? Me? What the hell is a John face? Yeah, you. Do I know you? I don't think so, sir. No, no, I'm pretty sure I know you. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait! It was the Hong Kong riots ten years ago, right? I have never been to Hong Kong, and I certainly didn't deflect from any anti-riot force at the ceiling supplies. <laughs> um, really? That's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You were in the riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some anarchist hippie to you? <laughs> Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicone business. <laughs> so I was in Hong Kong talking with some investors. Those damn riots broke out. Seriously, though, did they really think the laws they were trying to pass wouldn't backfire? They're openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. No matter how many, they have different competitors' abilities you put between it. Still segregation, sweet at. <laughs> And once people start crying segregation, oh, I like that, you're doomed. <laughs> this is the, uh, the PR century. If you're gonna do that, disguise it a bit. That's a very uh, lacanistic way of summarizing the incident. I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labor. And the plan reached such a developed stage because the media was installing fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people would become power-hungry ma maniacs was a key factor in the plans. I know right, Demon Dan Dandy, the jams? Like... <laughs> and everything is mostly the aftermath of previous protesters. On second thought, maybe it's a, it's better to be la laconic dick. Lacon lacon laconic dick? What's that? Trying to get a full picture might take you back beyond the Industrial Revolution. It's a funny jams over the riot talk. <laughs> all that happened when I got out of high school. I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that. A hey, scholarship, that's uh, no mean feat, right? Well, I guess even without the scholarship, that would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I was really into this one Chinese idol band. It's uh, one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. Oh no, she was like, she was an idol girl. No, chill. <laughs> she was an idol fan girl. <laughs> You'd be surprised at how easy Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some pizza face pencil neck. And I wasn't gonna allow myself to be seen with that. <laughs> If someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well... <laughs> I'm guessing a scholarship student might even have a chance. Why do I feel like he's suddenly challenging me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese? Wait, when you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerine Canto what? <laughs> Encouraging this man is yeah, it's true, it's true. John made him murder himself to avoid being seen with a weave. What a buzz! <laughs> when people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to be clear because there's lots of different dialects in Chinese language. In Hong Kong, a lot of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. You might learn Cantonese because you're only going to Hong Kong, or you might learn Mandarin because it's the only one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong, I managed to steal a deal, I got no idea about anything else. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> anyway, surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Mars Blast too, right? <laughs> <clears throat> sure, sure, on it. What's a Mars Blast? That's a change of pace for sure. <laughs> a Mars Blast? Okay, we're gonna make this strong. We're gonna make this strong. 
Manly, spicy, strong. Okay, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. One, two, three, four. Spin, spin it around. Two of those. No ice, no agent. Oh, blended. Oh, we're blending it. Damn, we're blending it. Hey, mix. Hey, I'm mixing the drinks, baby. This band's my hero. He's doing his job, and that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's hope he likes it. Here. I want to put the. I want. Yeah, let's put that. One. We watch. We protect. All right. I guess I believe your story. All right. <laughs> hey kid, you got wasted yesterday. There's a certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if uh, anything someone could use against? Me? If I said anything someone could use against me in a court of law. <laughs> Uh, unless complaining about your investors can be used as a legal weapon, I don't think so. Oh good, fuck those sons of bitches! <laughs> I'm mixing over here! <laughs> bitter, I like bitter drinks, Protown. I like bitter drinks. <laughs> I love bitter and, and citrus drinks. What did I tell you? How oh, they wanted to raise unreasonable stuff and how you feel like they have more power than you do and all that stuff. Oh yeah, I recall something like that. But then again, it seems to be something I see a lot when I'm drunk. <laughs> He's spitting tonight, yeah. <laughs> that and racial slurs in German. <laughs> Donovan! Donovan, no! <laughs> racial slurs in what? <laughs> but let me tell you something. There are people worse than your investors. <laughs> Who? Your clients. I excuse me? Your readers. You think clients are always right? You're wrong! Unless I'm the client, that is. <laughs> we live in an era where the PR is first. And only word in anything. You can't sell- you can sell the shittiest of stuff that people will buy it if you're the- If you're the apple of their eye. But wait, make one fucking mistake and it's over for you. Suddenly you're criminal to them. <laughs> no chance of appeals. God forbid they ever catch something on you said out of context. <laughs> a month ago, we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in the article about cougars in nearby what? <laughs> in nearby forests. All because they got a pack of 40 year old divorced sucker mums crying about hurt feelings. <laughs> now having picnic parties in the same forest and thought we were right about the cougars, you say. God, I hope at least one of them gets eaten by that damn namesick. <laughs> yeah, it's funny when someone else hears it, but the smell of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. Oh, there's nobody can take a joke. They're all out for blood. You can't win. You always offend somebody. <laughs> While some take it graciously, many just fucking love feeling insulted. <laughs> they relish the thought of ganging up against somebody. Those hypersensitive bastards are your clients. They're the ones you have to target. <laughs> And run a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present news in the most neutral way possible. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mirror. <laughs> oh, sure, let's go with that. Um, I mean, it's not like this is totally wrong, but I mean, hearing it from him is kind of. Damn, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? Just finished an interview and I must be uh, posted as soon as possible. <laughs> This voice is getting worse and worse. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the fact that we posted it after the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Something delayed in the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it for some fucking reason. She just didn't. Spent two days negotiating something else instead. Oh, because she got knocked out. Negotiating? Do you have to pay or something? Basically... And then an encore concert happens, they need to place that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay then, one last drink before I leave. Uh, give me something bitter, wake me up. Sure. 
bitter, 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 flavor, bitter, bitter drinks, wake him up. Gut punch, suplex. We're gonna suplex him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Suplex, 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 suplex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> suplex. Let's do suplex. <laughs> I read that this game was released in 2016 and was de in development for some years. He was kind of ahead of his time. Wow, really? That is, that is actually crazy to think about. If it's seeing his three drinks in right, yeah, that's true. Big old suplex, yeah, let's do a suplex. Big one, dump, double the size. Let's double it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And one, two, three. One, two, three. I think we gotta double it, right? Lunch break, right? Should we, should, should we double it? I feel like we gotta double it. German suplex, hell yeah. On the rocks. I feel like we gotta double it. My man, my man knows how to handle a drink. Let's do it. And then mix. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. I hope it's not too much and I'm a little worried. Okay. Here. Yes, it works just fine. You know what? I feel like I should compensate the poor bass that took the heat yesterday. Oh? Yeah, that kid Joe, Jean, Goma, Tolomo, Homoshima. I can't remember his fucking name. That kid, he's always gushing about that idol I interviewed. Can't remember anyone from that shit, but he's annoying enough to make me remember him. So I know I feel like I uh, cock blocked him big time today by taking his gig away. <laughs> Worst of all, I left him to fend off a pack of crazy bitches. And that's something I wouldn't wish on anyone. Not even my worst enemies. Well, I mean, maybe two of them. You're sounding so considerate right now. Yeah, why? What's happening? What's happening? Is it the alcohol? I'm no saint, kid, but I'm a man. And a man must never cock block another man unless he's trying to fuck your mom. <laughs> Did I fucking stutter? <laughs> Maybe you can get him tickets or something. Nah, see, I mean he's off work. I need him to be at my beck and call tonight. I've seen this brat talk to no end about her, so, uh... I know. I'll let him write about her. Somewhere else in the newspaper. Give him the food critics column. That shit anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking nice. <laughs> I'm out, kid. <laughs> Thank you, please come again. That'd be something interesting to see, I guess. That was um, tiring. Hey, Jill, I think I have a problem. Don't tell me. Yeah, I can't take this helmet off. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. <laughs> Check the internet for help. How to take off Valakrid type white not for science a common query, you know. I could break it, but I don't want to damage the client's property. Did you just run out of air? I just realized you serve the Valakrid in Valhalla. I'm trying to do the helmet voice, but it's hard to keep up. It's hard to keep up. <laughs> Shit, don't, don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. What are you gonna do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see, where is her number? Oh, he here it is. Hey, Iris, I need some unclogging advice. Iris? I heard the chief call her a couple times. Maybe she's a friend. More importantly, Will Chief be fine? She will, even if there's no god or Buddha. You can always trust boss. Yeah, let's hope you're right. Hi, honey, can you see me? Is that her voice? Is that her voice? Ah, oh, Dorothy! Yeah, I can see you, why? Really, man? Did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who's all you want? Jill, I'm going out for a bit. Buy a screwdriver and bacon and... Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. I'm... Hello? 
Oh, hello, Dollar Fee, wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit then. She didn't see you. Oh, I get it now. It's only a Vic germ, not an optical camouflage system. Should we do that? Should we do that voice for Dumbathy? I don't know. <laughs> um, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone stripping or undressing? But um, I mean the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see and the, the person's invisible. Is she a Southern Belle? Dorothy's her name. I feel like she's gonna be country, right? Come again? There are people out there with a fetish for invisible people. <laughs> country, country. Wait, she's meant to be like like young? She's meant to be young? Oh fuck, she's now? Oh, we can make her if she's... Wait, what's her... What she's... <laughs> I don't know, Jetpack, what's her character? Is she meant to be country? I just read Dorothy and I was like, country girl? Country girl, I love you. <laughs> or is she meant to be really young? Where you can only see a few articles of clothing floating by. <laughs> I don't know if I can keep this up. <laughs> I was trying to find something, but it would let me cater to that fetish. But my contract misunderstood my request. <laughs> She's made to appeal to certain case. Dorothy equals country. <laughs> oh, we can change the voice, Jetpack. We can change the voice. If she did the country is wrong. <laughs> she can be anything the client wants. Oh. Um, I asked him to bring me something to make me invisible and he did. I think she's meant to be maid-ish. Oh, she's meant to be a maid. Okay, this voice is completely wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, this voice is completely wrong. Um, um, I don't know if I'm good at doing those, like, doing, like, like a really... Okay, let me, okay, let me... Uh, okay, I don't know if I'm really good at doing... No, keep going, keep going. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> um, like, but it's, it's meant to be like, but I'm only invisible to the cameras. I can't, I can't do that voice. Let me, let me hydrate. I need more water. I need, I need... <laughs> Reality is what you make it. <laughs> I need it. Oh, God. Let me hydrate. <laughs> The, the, my voice is gonna be absolutely broken t t tonight. <laughs> Country made, no incorrect answers. Oh. Wait, so she's meant to be like, um, she meant to be like, but I'm only invisible to, no, I can't do it, but I'm only invisible to cameras. Is that what she's meant to be like? Uh, I, I think the Southern Bell's better. <laughs> um,. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too with a jammer or something? Oh, you have a point. Is it meant to be like that? Is that better? <laughs> oh no. Oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a Namco model. <laughs> I think that's what I was I think I'm being a southern woman is funny. <laughs> Do your best uwu voice. Okay. <clears throat> oh well. Oh well. I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a Nyamko model. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. <laughs> I bet that was perfect. Um, 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 have you heard of Nyamko? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for following Gino you know, Quirks. I'm sorry for my bad Ooh, voice. Oh, oh, well. They're a military technology company. They're recently branded in civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials. Take any color or texture you want. Invisible to cringe. No! 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 Stop! 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 Real voice? Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up, chat! Um, you can order a module from them and change the colors of the clothes or as little tables with it. Mmm, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with what you want, though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last time I checked, though. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, chat! <laughs> Almost to the human eye? Well, it's not perfect. If you move, you'll be an eerie surrounding color blob. And we Williams see things differently. 
so it's ineffective against us. Still, you might be what I need. <laughs> now that's what I was talking about to yourself again. Huh? Nothing important. What are you having? Oh, I'm in a good mood. So give me a piano woman. <laughs> I'm trying my best to maintain this. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm trying my best to maintain this. Ah! Piano woman. Okay, 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 okay. Alcoholic Ula voice. <laughs> oh, it's so embarrassing. Ah! <laughs> I'm, this, this, uh, uh, Jess has gone too far. She's more anime than tomboy now. And I was mistaken to say it. Shut the f okay. Piano woman. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ah! Shut up! Got it! <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> anime tag incoming. No way. I'm not deserving of anime tag. Thank you for your hard work. <laughs> I feel like I should have the chibi model on when I'm doing that voice, god damn it. Um, okay, so, all age and mix. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah! Ego mode? Is that what it is? Jesus Christ, it's your hat. <laughs> One piano woman. <clears throat> Thanks, I love these ones, you know? I keep them for special occasions when I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today I feel good! That's nice. Okay then, how's this for a bonus payment? Oh, a ticket from Friday. I can't believe I still remember that. A guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. <laughs> I didn't think this ticket should be valid. But then again, they were improvised, so there isn't really a contract involved or anything. You know... Hmm? If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Keep me fed, and I'll keep you company. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I'm glad you saved this voice for Dorothy. I think I'm more feel like I was cornered into doing this voice by the chat. I think. <laughs> it's only a pay if you want to get naughty, though. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. Wait, what's your cat doing? Do you pay him too? Finish that sentence. I'll make sure you truly become visible. Fine. Consider this a standing offer, though. Oh, hey, John. Ah, Dorothy. <laughs> D didn't see you here last Friday. <laughs> oh my God, keep it up. <laughs> my cheeks are so red right now. This is. I feel so. This is not a tomboy doing a fucking uwu voice. This is cringe chat. This is cringe. This is. Cringe. <laughs> <laughs> I was dealing with some stuff over the weekend. <laughs> and Monday? Yeah, yeah! Uh, was it that girl? I wish. <laughs> You're a theater kid and you love cringe! Shut the fuck up, Egg! <laughs> what did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey, what'd you do? Phil's <laughs> has been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His boss is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. JRM! Chibi Doki cringe, well deserved jet snag weird. must live with the consequences. I know, I have to commit to it now. Nebulous. You hear so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened then. And you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said I'm not 
I'm not one to judge. It seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really that necessary. It's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know. <laughs> Did I tell any lies? No, but... Never mind. <laughs> oh, yeah. About your boss. Why was she wearing a helmet? She found it, she put it on, and now she's stuck. <laughs> you can maybe pull back the cute a tad. Well, how do you do a not cute ooh, ooh voice? How do you not do a cute... Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah? Randomly putting on stuff you find is problematic. <laughs> nah, more cute chat. Now you're just backseat voice acting. <laughs> You got cuter. That was the little shocking. Oh yeah? Randomly putting on stuff to find is problematic. Too far, too far. Whoa. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a... A bit early for those stories, don't you think? Ah, uh, don't you think? Don't you think? Um, no. By the way, isn't it weird that I didn't see you yesterday? <laughs> I have a job too, you know. Yeah, but you usually come in before you start. Yeah, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. <laughs> oh, it was weird, but not kinky weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, full circle, full circle. Marco, no! <laughs> Momko, you can't be here where I do embarrassing Uwu voice. Momko, please leave. <laughs> Momko, please leave. <laughs> Ah, chat, 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 chat. Everyone not cool. Everyone not cool. Everyone not cool. <coughs> Cause this line is the next line. I have to say, the, this line is the next line. Chat, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh god, love it. Oh god. Uh, uh, the guy who paid me off to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. I go to his house at 11 a.m., I dress as requested, and spend all day there. This is Radic Prince, thank you so much. Welcome to the jetpack. Welcome to the jetpack. Hi, hi. I'm Welcome to the pure cringe. <laughs> Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, and go to bed when he ordered. Wait, and go to bed when ordered, and leave. Nothing sexual. I used to expect him to push me against the ground and I'm <laughs> mm, This game, okay, this game, chat. Is this why you guys want me to play this? This game makes me say the sussest things. This game makes me say the fucking sussest things. Do, uh, you want me to uh, 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 woo through this, your byline? Normal Dorothy things? Ah. <laughs> God, I don't want to say the line. I don't want to say the line. <laughs> I used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But after three years, it's unlikely that will happen. Three years? Yeah. One day, a year, for three years now. Oh. The last year, he also wanted me to play the part of his daughter's birthday. Stop it, chat. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Wait a second. Does he have a daughter or not? Had. Since she died four years ago. Oh. Oh. Oh, chat. 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 No. Yup. They seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, won't you? Sure. 
remember Ingram, the punk guy. Yeah, I remember chat. I remember chat. I remember chat. Ah! So this game is hurting me. Moonblast. Moonblast coming up. On the rocks, baby. Gonna be a six hour hide. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Just a little splash of power delta, splash of fire guide, and for the lady, two power mine. Mix that till it's blended. And like that, best bartender in the business. <laughs> oh god. So many people like it because these things are uh, interconnecting. Ah, nice. Yeah. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it. I just can't stop drinking them. It tastes a bit of sugar, drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder you, small wonder you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single. I don't mind that you're a girl. Based. Um. <clears throat> Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. Anyway, it's not about that. Uh, do the DFC-72s look like kids? Yes and no. Sus? Out of factory, we look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. Then you look like babies out of the factory? No. Um, every fresh DFC-72 looks about 10 to 13. It makes it easier to upgrade later. So she's born like this. Upgrade? Once a DFC-72 passes three maturity tests, it can opt for factory upgrade. Said upgrade alters its body to look something older. Some go for it, some don't. Will you go through with it? I don't know. Right now, I'm a rarity. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. Dorothy's gold? <laughs> the activate goddammit chat! <laughs> And he really needs to take that advantage, you know? How so? When people hire me, half the time it's not because I'm me. The amount of role-playing I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous! So if I stop looking on the rage, I'll lose my advantage over everyone else. I didn't think about it that way. Should I think about it at all? <laughs> oh. I mean, maybe I'll go through with it, if it, I ever decide to retire or something. But right now, I'm fine just the way I am. I see. <laughs> Whoa, okay, what's his voice? Okay, okay. Um, 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 what is this guy's voice? I how do, ugh, how do I do a gruff voice? I feel like I've I feel like I've done all my three male voices I can do. I don't have any more guy voices left. <laughs> An Aussie accent, Duke Nukem. <gasps> fucking g'day! Oh my god, he's a fucking mad con. Good evening, Gil. Good evening, Gil. Jill and Jillian, welcome to Jill and Jillian. Does that happen a lot? Not really. It would happen a lot less if Jill would just let people call her Jules. <laughs> call me Jules and I'll make sure every time you sit, you hear a cling of your shaker. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no hurry. <laughs> Hello, Sailor. Hello, young lady. <laughs> Just call me Dorothy. 
you're Jamie, right? Oh god, 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 oh god. Nice to meet you, Dorothy. <laughs> hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day and today I'm in a good mood. Well, I suppose it'd be implied to mean I reject. <laughs> sure, I'll take your offer. Yay, honey, I'll have a big sunshine cloud. No, I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. I'll do something more expensive. Oh, I'd rather not. <laughs> Man, that girl puts me on edge with the way she dresses people. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, let me get your orders. Oh god, okay. Oh, slot one and slot two. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So you can make two drinks. Uh, a girl, a robot named Dorothy. It's showtime, big, oh god. <laughs> uh, make a big sunshine cloud. Sunshine cloud, big. So it's on the rocks and it's blended. And it's big, so we're doing four of the Alla. We're gonna do two of the Bronson. Nope, four Bronson. Optional card of mine. We'll do two of those. Yeah. Tastes like old chocolate milk. Ooh, bitter, girly, and soft on the on on the rocks. I think that's enough for it to be a big one, right? Okay, let's go and blend it. Hey, sun cloud. And then for slot two, we're going to be making a gut punch. Perfect. One gut punch coming up. I'm gonna do a big gut punch as well. Five, I'm gonna do, I'll do a big gut punch. And two of these. And yeah, he can handle four. He can, he can, I'm, I'm, under, I'm expecting this guy to be able to handle his uh, alcohol. Aged and mixed. Two, three, four, five. Eee! <laughs> Let's serve them up. Here and here. Thank you. All is in order. Thank you, Dorothy. Don't mention it. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to jump. Oh my god, chat is is becoming more. The more characters I am having to jump between, the more difficult this is becoming. I am not. I, I'm not a voice actor, and I am struggling right now. <laughs> Um, I, I think your Dorothy is the best. I've, oh, thank you! <laughs> oh my god, I'm fighting to get, keep that Dor Dor Dorothy voice. Oh my god. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy! Why ask you something? Uh, private. If you need a price list, I have a convenient card with updated fees. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to do. No, thank you. I'm not about that. Then go ahead. I don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. Is it true that the DFC-72 line leaves tracking nanomachines machines and other person after... Well... After they violate every hole in your body regardless of... I'm not... I'm... Okay. I'm not finishing the line. I can't finish the line, chat. I can't finish the line. <laughs> do it, do it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> After they violate every hole in your body, regardless of its original purpose. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's how am I supposed to know what they're talking about unless I don't? I know, I know, I know. <laughs> That's a assembly myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking nano machines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted, or like that way, the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy though. 
I've heard stories of deep FC 72s who marry and then get nervous on their wedding night and then BAM! Their partner ends up spending the honeymoon in jail. No, oh, I see. And besides, I've modded myself so much that if any tracking machines were still being released, I've had to com commend their tendency, to be honest. There's also this herbal myth that those nanomachines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now, I get to ask you something. This voice, man, it's killing me, it's killing me, it's killing me. <laughs> sure, go ahead. <laughs> How much of you is still organic? Just enough, but my skin still heals over time. Come on. You know, that's not what I mean. Well, I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. <laughs> Fine. See if I care. <laughs> Me, I'm gonna leave you with the meanie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> upgrades, people, upgrades. <laughs> Thank you, please come again. That girl's something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does, it's kinda hard not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever. And that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here! Right, I'm gonna go take my... Girl, I need your girly hands for a second here! <laughs> Coming! Sorry, can you take care of him for a while while I help her? Sure, no problem. I apologize, I'm taking time from your break. No, oh, don't worry. Sorry, you'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. <laughs> yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast when Jill's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Mars Blast. We get a lot of Mars Blast it seems. Let's just keep it simple, we won't go overboard. Just a simple Mars Blast, a little bit of power delta, you know, they, what they say, a little, a little, a little bit of splash of Flanagan and that classic two karma triangle. We're gonna have that all blended, just like how Mama used to make it. Bitter, mind-numbing, just like war. Have you been to war? Life's a war. We fight every day, Jill. So you haven't been to war? Not an official one, at least. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First, it was how a professional assassin could be so polite and present to be around. But I guess your line of work doesn't really have any bearings on your personality. Thanks a lot. <laughs> what I've often wondered is how you can be so calm here. The emu one? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, chat. <laughs> wow, he's just like me for real, for real. Corporate rules are just as real as country wars. <laughs> Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try and keep everything clean as possible. Second, I only come here looking for trouble. I don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss for easing my mind about other folks. My boss? Oh, I've seen what she's done. Well, I feel safe here. She can take care of things if I went haywire. Haywire? You? Don't you mind that? Hard not to mind it if you just said. Uh, hmm. Do you, you wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost her original fighting a cyborg wrestler. That had gone rogue. <laughs> Just a rumour, though. Damn. I didn't know then. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if she's left a mystery. <laughs> He's chrome to the gills! <laughs> Which leaves me believing that she might have starred some of the rumours herself. 
They're believable, cause it's her. <laughs> Maybe we'll see her in action one day. You should, it's quite the show. Good news, Gil, helmet came off, and you can take your break. <laughs> sorry, I completely fucked up Gil's voice, I'm sorry. Finally. Uh, it's always a pleasure, pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. <laughs> oh, they're all becoming one accent. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Wait. Thank you, Jill. <laughs> Boss break. All right. <sighs> oh, maybe you've had the second emo war for... Yeah, true. Maybe we have had the second emo war by now. And we won that one. Save. Perfect. Okay, I think I think I'm gonna take I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a bathroom break. I think I'm gonna take a bathroom break. Jets has gone too deep. <laughs> One, yeah, we won the we won the new, the, the most recent emo emo war. Let's. Uh, boss should clean the chicken buckets. She throws out. Everyone can smell the spice from miles away. Jukebox. This time will be diff- wait, Australia didn't have giant mechas during the emu- Yeah, exactly, this time will be different. <laughs> I love the Valhalla stream, but I got dip. That's completely fine, take care of yourself, please, please. I'm just gonna keep this how it is, and we're gonna leave it on this screen. And I'm gonna go, because the music's banging. I'm just gonna go high down here, and I'll be back in a little bit. I'm just gonna go run to the bathroom, okay? Real quick, okay. Oh, back in a second. Get yourself uh, some food or some tea or water if you want to. <laughs> I'm back. Ooh, music's banging. The music's banging. Bam, bam. Don't blame yourself, Jets. Have you been? Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate. Have you played Skyrim? They're like four voice actors in the game, and most people sound the same, but they're professionals. <laughs> Have a good one. Yes, you too, team. And thank you so much for hanging out. Bye. Uh, and I got sleep, dude. So that's all good. Have a nice sleep. Good night. I guess it probably is getting late for a lot of burger bros. You gotta, gotta head, head off. Thank you for the support. Thank you, thank you. You've gotta head off. Completely understand. Take care of yourself. I don't know when I wanna finish this stream today. I feel like we're definitely not gonna finish this game on stream today. Um, it might be a couple streams. So we'll just see how far we get. We'll see how far we get, and then when we feel like. We feel like getting off, we'll, 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 we'll turn the stream off. <laughs> no pressure. No, this is a long game, like a long game. Oh, um, yeah, wait, so yeah, we're definitely not finishing it today. Uh, probably like three or four. Oh, that's nice though. Thank you, Atterstone. It's almost nine o'clock, where does the time go? Where did the time go? Um, yeah, so I think we'll, we'll definitely try and get as much as we can or much as we want to done today, as much as we feel like. And then we'll, we'll just kind of book it in. If you guys want to finish this game, because I know I know some people don't finish it; they just like start it and um, because I imagine I, like now playing, I get I get why because it's very long and like very intense. But if you guys want to, we could do more streams. I can't promise I'll remember everybody's voices, but I'll do my best. <laughs>
I will do my best to remember all the voices. <laughs> Definitely for the story. Okay, okay, yes. Okay, Dana. Dana. I'm still perfecting Dana's voice. Let me try and see if I can get her voice right. <clears throat> it could take a couple minutes more, you know. I, I think she should have like a, a deep voice, a deep voice, like like yeah, like this, like this. This is what this is what Dana should sound like. This is what Dana should sound like. At least she wouldn't forget Dorothy's voice. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. That's probably true. Gameplay is just to break up the monotony. Yeah, that's that's why it's good. Will be good to break this up in um. Just continue for Dorothy. Okay. <laughs> Back of Dijon's jetpack. I'm fine, thanks. How'd you get the helmet off? Turns out there's a release button. Was jammed with the ashes. Whoever owns that helmet made sure to use it when to the point of vi vi avoiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? If it helps, write down characters' names with things that remind you of the voice. Ah, that's actually a really good idea. Because it's like, you have to get into the flow of it. You have to get in the flow of what the characters sound like. I'm, I am I hope you guys are enjoying the voices. I hope that you guys... Dorothy, stop it, chat! <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying the silly voices. I know I could just be reading this out with my voice but I think it's more fun to put the funny voices on I'm having I'm having a lot of fun with it I hope that you guys are too Beth Gory welcome to the jetpack dude welcome in character cringe voice is amazing hell yeah character B cringe <laughs> now take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again character D cringe <laughs> right yes it's open great welcome to Valhalla mummy Android mummy? Android mummy? What does the Android mummy sound like? <gasps> what is an the soundtrack legendary? Oh, yes, you were completely correct. It's so good. Own character, cringe. <laughs> ada, ada. But how do I do that consistently? I can't do that shit. I can't do that shit. Um, uh, this game is too sexual. I feel, oh my mum. Ada, ada, indeed. It's ada, ada. It's okay. Ada, ada. It's okay. How do I do it? <clears throat> I'm trying to think of like, who's a VTuber that has like a good ara ara voice? Um, I don't, I'm not, I'm, I'm, this is, this is, this will settle, this will settle the, uh, the, the case for, 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 for just me not being motherly in any capacity. <laughs> um, uh, so, oh yes, yeah, Sukumi does do a good one, you're right. She does the, she, how, how does she do it? She's like, um, da, da, da. No, everything. Silver Veil, Monarch. That's true. That's true. Good evening. Um, what kind of place is this? Is that good? Oh God, I don't know. Did I step into some kind of afterlife? I don't know. Oh God, Grimmy, Clear, Clear, Clear. Uh, Clear's, Clear's voice is way more academic. I think. Do you often enter places without knowing what they- Wait, that's me! Fuck! Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sorta. Of, kinda. Yeah. Okay! Well, this is a bar. A bar. Nice. Nice. What can I get you? We'll, 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 we'll cultivate it as we go. I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? Uh, what do you normally enjoy? I like tea. That's not something I can work with. What about flavors? Bitter, but not too bitter. Sorry if it's too confusing. Something bitter, but not too much. Maybe something bitter and girly? Let me see what I can get you. I, I need to practice MILF voice. MILF, my MILF voice just it looks like, sounds like a dominatrix. I don't think she's a dominatrix. <laughs> um, something tea, maybe something not bitter, maybe girly, maybe bitter by flavor. Let's go into bitter. What's Grizzly Temple? This one's kind of unbearable. It's mostly for fans of the, oh, okay, bland. Okay, not that one. Let's go for uh, Sunshine Cloud. Bitter, girly, and soft. <laughs> Maybe we can maybe do Sunshine Cloud? Maybe Sunshine Cloud? Because I think these ones are too strong. What's Power Driver? No, I think we do Sunshine Cloud. Sunshine Cloud, yeah. On the rocks and blended. Nice, nice, nice. Tastes like chocolate milk. 
that's not really like tea, but caramel, mm, quite closer to tea. Two aldehyde, uh, two bronze, and a little bit of this. I think this should be good. I'm hoping this is good. Okay, and blended. Oh, wait till it's all shaken. Wait till it's really shaken. <gasps> Sun cloud. Okay, let's hope this is good. You're doing good enough to make me feel embarrassed. You can keep it up. <laughs> Try this. Yeah, I'm trying to like, cause I like the way to get into the ooey voices to go like, oh, the way to get into the other other voices to go like, I'm putting my vocal cords in a place that they've never been before. Jetpack, <laughs> like all the way back down there. Um, yeah, this will do fine. Thanks. You don't look like you're from around here. What? brought you by, miss. I'm the star that always shines in the dark sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern lights that will show you your dreams. I'm Kira Miniki. So sorry, should I call you Miss Miniki or Miss Kira? <laughs> no, you're not getting it. I'm just Kira. Miniki. You're doing a Laura Bailey style voice. What's a Laura Bailey style voice? <laughs> From the posters in the shop? <laughs> I don't even. <laughs> Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira. You say Miniki, okay? Okay. Kira. Miniki. <laughs> No, 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 Put my spirit into it. Kira! Min Miniki! Almost there. Kira! Miniki! Kira! Miniki! Kira! Miniki! Kira! Miniki! That's it! Are you feeling it? Kira! Miniki! Kira! Miniki! Kira! Miniki! And don't you forever forget it. The music cut out at that moment. That's scary. That's scary. That's scary. What the hell am I doing out here? Um, where were we, Jamie? Right, I was telling you. Idle chant. Idle chant. I think it says Miki. Miki? Miki. Kira. Ki, kia. Miki. I. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, she's cursed. Oh god. Wow, you're good. Thank you. It's nice to know I still have it. <laughs> Especially since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? Wait, you're the Lilium that's putting on the concert tonight. I'm one Lilium who's putting on the concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilium you're looking for. And what are you doing all the way down here? Well, they were making last preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. It's okay, it's okay, it's alright. My producer is always obnoxious while that's going on, so I just decided to leave. I saw one of the concerts posters outside and decided to check out this place. Is that just that? Isn't that a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. I I see. <laughs> How big is the concert? We planned for a bit over a hundred thousand people and sold out fast. So we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I may not have as many fans as other best performers, but mine are very loyal, and that's nice. Over oh, 1,000, not many of them, what exactly is? Hold on then, based on your little demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Miki, right? You don't get it. Let's start from the top. I'll just call you Miss Idol then. <laughs> oh, I like that. Hey, do you have anything soft? Soft as in alcohol free? 
No, I mean soft as in soft. Soft? Let's see what I can get you. <laughs> I adore her. I adore her. I like her, but I can't do her voice that well, so I despise her. <laughs> It takes me it's taking a lot of effort to do this. <laughs> okay, something soft. Uh, bubbly? Bubbly class is strong. Mm. Um, sweet. Sweet. It's <laughs> doing fine. Thank you, chat. <laughs> sparkle star. It used to actually sparkle, but too many complaints. Sweet, girly, happy? Maybe Sparkle Star. Better choose right. <gasps> oh, God. Ah, uh, soft, soft, soft. Classy? Cobalt Velvet. Burning. Burning's not soft. Girly? Fluffy Dream. <gasps> fluffy Dream! Fluffy Dream! Fluffy Dream! Soft, 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 soft. Let's go! Okay. Three out of hide, bam, bam, bam. Three power delta, bam, bam, bam. And a little bit of, just a little bit. Aged and mixed. One, two, three, four, five. A fluff dream. I think we got it. I think this is a good one. I think this is a good one. Teensy bit of spice. Try this. Yeah, this will do it. Thanks. Hey, have you considered being more theatrical and mixing drinks? Eh? Yeah, you know, like spinning the bottles, lighting the drinks on fire, that kind of stuff. When I was in college, I tried to go into a party once, and the bartender who tried to do those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead, and the bottle slipped through his hand. These kinds of theatricals usually feel pointless, and seem to slow down the process of actually making the drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know? I feel like, I feel like I know I'm meant to put more... va va -voom. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like I know I'm meant to put more va va -voom into her voice. I'm just very nervous and, and anxious about doing so. <laughs> like, I feel like I know. <laughs> I know that like everything she says is meant to sound like, uh, but I don't... No, 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 I don't... <laughs> Like, <laughs> like I know she's gonna be like, mm -hmm. like, hey, is this glass important? <laughs> <laughs> you're really going great. She's just more relaxed at the moment. Like, you buy exactly. Depends on what you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure, I guess. No guessing. Are you sure or not? Yeah, do as you please. Okay then, who should I make it out to? Cause now I'm imagining her as like Jessica Rabbit. Now I'm like imagining her as like, bum, ba, na, bum. <laughs> Maybe my boss, I wonder if Gil would like it there. Your name, girl. Oh, it's for Jill then. For Jill. Never lose your star. I'm Kira Miyuki. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty old girl. Thanks. <laughs> No, thank you! I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you uh, has their fair share of stalkers, right? Oof! Well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow, my every follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot too, but they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. I I see. <laughs> they're also very organized and make pretty good soldiers. The others, the storkers, they're a bit sneakier and they don't act in groups. I'm guessing the stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Storkers are nice when you get used to them. Ma'am, ma'am, ma what? I remember one once protected me from being mugged. There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. Ma'am! Ma'am, what? Ma'am, what? And she fails to see the problem. Lol, what? Yeah, exactly. 
I just wish they'd leave my underwear drawer the same way they found it. <laughs> I take great pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know? <laughs> Make me breakfast. Well, you better make me pancakes at the very least. <laughs> okay, and bring the good strawberries. God damn it, jetpack. <laughs> I take pride in how old my liquor collection. I guess it's not the, it's the same. No, wait, it isn't. Yeah, you got me, Jill. Mm. Don't touch the drawers. Don't touch the drawers. <laughs> okay. One more drink before I go. By now, this day should be all organized. And the full hatch should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make my concerts go from night to dawn. In this one, I was supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned, and the weather forecast is accurate, and the sun the sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the sun. That is pretty cool. That's pretty damn cool. I'll be depressed if they ask for your love as a drug, as an encore, though. That sounds nice. Hey, you need to make people feel that tickets were worth the ridiculous price, you know? Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Yeah, one time I brought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. And it tastes like filthy water with cream. And I still don't know if it was the coffee or the girl that served it. But it was bad. <laughs> Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything better? I really need to wake myself up. Ah, uh, the good old ticket master. <laughs> Let's see what I can find for you. Do you want something bitter? Maybe to sober her up a bit. By the bitter... Shh. I don't know if I want to get her like a gut punch or a suplex. It feels too much. I I feel like I feel like the gut punch or a suplex is like way too much. Maybe we just do a gut punch. What do you think, jetpack? Gut punch? Okay. Maybe a gut punch is a is a safe bet. Four, five, one of these, and one of those and aged and mix one two three four five perfect I, I hope this is like not too manly so 10 cap no 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 uh try this yeah this works so how is it it could be a bit sweeter but it's delicious i figured it was for waking you up or something so Really nice, thanks. I hope you aren't offended by this question, but, hmm, I can just see that you enjoy what you do, but how much of it is about the music? I'll let you know that before becoming Kira Miraki, I was a very accomplished pianist. I had concerts every week, and part-times in bars with a jazz band. I still write and compose all my own songs. Whoa! Why the change? Going from jazz and piano to idol? Have you ever thought about the power music has over people? You could argue it's just a noise, but it makes you feel a wide range of emotions. <laughs> I'm sorry, this voice, I'm sorry. <laughs> and the power is universal. It can transcend language and culture. Being in a jazz band or performing recitals, it can only take that power to so many people. But being an idol, you can take that power and spread it far and wide. Kids and adults, men and women, they all have access to my music and I can reach every one of them. Wow. What music do you like, Jill? She was in jazz. I love it, I love her, that's pretty cool. I'm not picky, but I prefer versions with no lyrics. Oh my God, she's a VTuber. Oh my God, she's a tuber. <laughs> she's an idol. Ah, uh, why? She's a mummy VTuber. <laughs> I like to listen to music while working and lyrics distract me. I feel that, I feel that a lot actually. And besides, it always bothers me when some people nonchalantly start singing songs with creepy lyrics. She's say so, yeah, she's say so. 
<laughs> Proto's and <Zentrea. laughs> uh, I think if only half of the listeners actually care about what's being said. Oh, that's a bummer. I'll give you a copy of my latest CD, but I don't have any at the moment. Don't worry about it. Okay then, I'm out. Thanks for helping me pass the time, Jill. Sure! <laughs> Please come back again. I'll make sure of it. Okay, I can finally stop doing that voice. Thank God. We're free, we're free, we're free, we're free. All the characters are so lovable. You're right, Gio. You've got. So, ugh, it's so true. Will she be alright? Yeah, she'll be fine. <laughs> you think she'll come back? Usually I say no, but honestly, I don't know. Boss, we're done! Alright. You feel like going to that girls' concert? No, I don't think I have enough tickets anyway. Hey, boss. Does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Why? That was my moniker during my wrestling days. <laughs> You're a huh? That's what they called me during my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. <laughs> they saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads. <laughs> any reason for being red, specifically? That way I was three times faster. <laughs> Red Comet Char! Oh, Pog! Pog! I mean, me and the boys wouldn't be jamming if they didn't make the Depresso songs go so hard. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> How'd you find that out? Do you like wrestling? I client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Ah, oh, I see. I should take you to wrestling match sometimes. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. <laughs> In any case, girl's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave. Take care. Oh, and boss! Don't cram anything in your head without thinking, please! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dana takes breaks to participating in monthly wrestling. <laughs> Grab a snack on the way- <gasps> Boss is so good! Grab a snack on the way home! She gave me $300 for a snack! That's so cool! Boss gave me a snack and everything. Um, we'll be in the seventh. Keep eight hundred dollars by then. Jill's humbling. Your love is a drug. Buying the song will prevent her from getting too distracted. You now browse Kira Miki's blog. Oh, wait. So we can get, we can get. Hey, <laughs> let's get the Kira Miki album. The poster. Color plant. Your love is a yellow yeah, go. Let's get that one. Perfect. Let's check my information. Okay, I've got to save. Got to save. Uh, save and back up. Save. Uh, new save. Perfect. And then, I guess. I guess. Should, do you guys want to check the the news? Kira Mickey concert confirms to be the best pop star in history. Well, that's great. By Donovan! Donovan wrote it himself. That's pretty good. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. She's the best. I like it. She had to be handcrafted to be this perfect. Holy moly. She's top tier. Everything. I'm a bastard. Is that how you still people out there hoping to be as great and as hot and as great as they get? It's impossible for humans to top such an achievement. I, for one, welcome our new Roboco Overlord. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh, Karamiki blog. Oh, it's like it's talking about our stuff. What I did to relax. It's been very hot to so late. So I'd like to share with you what I did to relax. Sitting on the roofs. I'm on the road most of the time. So I don't have a specific rooftop to relax on. I have to feel the breeze. Makes me think of Vista. Makes me think about life. <laughs> oh, she uses cute emotes! She uses cute emotes! She's a true idol girl. Hell yeah! <laughs> Do you think he likes making breakfast? <laughs> Go to the seafood platter because my men shrimp in it. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the. Is there anything new? I'll oh, just about the meek. Oh, Alice Rabbit. I'm still. I'm interested in the Alice stuff. If we get any new information. Oh my god. The font. The spooky font. It's happening. Time for despair. Ah. Uh. Got out of jail. Wait, what? 
my gosh. Awesome. Let's go. Stop forcing Alice. Wait, I should. Okay, so I shouldn't focus on Alice. I'm not allowed to focus on Alice. Spooky or a nice joke. I'm just, don't focus. I, I'm, it's a plot line that I'm still interested in. Okay, maybe this will be the last date. Okay, we'll do three days. We'll do it. Thank you for the hydrate. Thank you, hydrate. Hydrate. I'm going to call it after this day. We'll do three days at the bar and then we'll call the stream, I think. Good evening. Oh, I'm just reading one of the... Oh, one of the comments. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, hi there. Is this another MILF? Jetpack. I have like one MILF voice. I can't do more MILFs. I can't do... This is Marco. Also, Marco, can you get in here and just do this voice? Because I don't... <laughs> Girl. Oh, Valley Girl on Esama. Milf, two Milf. <laughs> Valley Girl on Esama. She's a very intellectual character because like, very sophisticated. Oh, like the, the office lady that leans over your desk and she's got like a really tight like sweater on. I was expecting the bar to be different before opening hours, but I guess it's just the same tired thing. Is that work? That sounds too much like that sounds too much like the boss lady. The rare, sophisticated valley girl. We can try American though. We can try. So, sound sleepy and distracted? I was expecting the bar to be different before opening hours, but I guess it's just the same tired thing. Alma! Ah! Lindardis. I'm gonna try American accent, we'll see. Gilligan. Mar Marsilio? I just stumbled across her on my way in and asked if she wanted to sag along. I hope you don't mind. Ah, this is gonna be a little bit scary. Sure, make yourself at home. Where's the boss? Didn't she put the helmet on again, did she? Uh, how are you nailing the voice so hard? I'm hoping... She went out for a bit. I don't know what for, but she'll be back. Alright. Alma, make yourself comfortable while I prepare. Right, thanks. Any music suggestions, Jetpack? Any music suggestions to swap out? What we feeling? What we feeling? Too intense. Sabalon. Sabalon. Uh... The song you brought? Oh, that's a good idea. Wait, we can add that? Wait, we can add the song we brought? Oh, we can, we can, we can, we can, we can, we can. Let's take... Let's change nighttime and movies and go, your love is a drug. Let's go. Sweet. It's a joke. I didn't know all the songs in the game. Time to mix drinks and change lives. What was that? Oh, it's just something they made me say back in introduction. Kind of stuck. <laughs> I went to school. The made us stand up with our hands on our backs when someone came in. That habit didn't run off until high school or so. I'm trying to do American accent. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Oh yeah, look at this. A glass with a signature. T -t 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 <laughs> I'll assume it's even an autograph or an impromptu message in Reddit's speed. <laughs> Frankie Lil, welcome in, welcome in. <laughs> Please enjoy my bad American accent. That uh, Kira Mirki girl came in here yesterday for the concert actually. Oh yeah, now I see her name here. You don't seem very surprised. I like uh, B-Link more, actually. 
<laughs> the stoic looking duo, right? Yup, those. <laughs> oh, seems you've had a better day than mine yesterday. I had to break up with Damien. I see, wanna drink? <laughs> you don't seem very surprised. <laughs> Alma, we've known each other for like, what, a few months now? I'd be interested if those relationships of yours went further than a week or two. <laughs> you say you broke up, but there's usually not enough time to force to something to break up. <laughs> it's more like the guy wasn't what I wanted, so I stopped flirting. You could pretend to be more interested, you know. <laughs> like my mom says, if you don't buy it, it's because I... Wait, if I don't buy it, it's because I know the product. Speaking of buying, do you want a frame? A frame? A frame? Yeah, for all the pics you have. Wait. Bleh. Yeah, for all the pics you have of your boss. The ones filling your phone memory. Some seem sneakily taken at that. Is th is that true? What do you what do you care? How the hell did you find that out? So it's true. Shut up. <laughs> I'm a hacker. Remember, you shouldn't piss off a hacker. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, I really like this one of her sleeping in the office. I think I'll copy it. You. <laughs> he. Can you make me a bad touch before we keep arguing? <laughs> oh god. She's a dog in a person costume? What do you mean? Pff, sure. Amma wants a pff, b -b bad touch. Okay, bad touch. Bad touch. Sour, classy, vintage, or nothing but mammals after all. <laughs> On the rocks and mixed. Okay, you need two Bronsons, two Power Deltons, uh, the Frangri. And the four of these bad boys. Okay, we can do that. Four of them. Rasputin, welcome in. We're doing bad voice acting and enjoying some cyber bartending. How you doing? And uh, let's mix it. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> nice. Oh, is it the... We're nothing but mammals, so let's do it. How we do it on Discovery Channel. Is that the reference? You and me, baby, we nothing but mammals. No. <laughs> Hi, Frankie, welcome in. Oh my god. Here. Who gives you these drinks and their silly names? Usually the ones who register it. Some people have quite the silly sense of humor. I like that girl who keeps laughing over this particular drink's name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> So, who's Damien again? <laughs> the one with the nice car. Sure, he's also the manager at the bank, but that car is what caught my eye. <laughs> and what was wrong with him? <laughs> Sing it in Shatner style, Shatner style, in Shatner style. <laughs> it turns out he was a LARPer. Love Live action role playing? <laughs> Sounds more like the nickname of some heavy handed writer or military organization. What do you role play as? Have you heard of the Woodstock Fairs? <laughs> Those events where people barely dress, stink, and roll in mud and fuck in the open? <laughs> what? <laughs> Those are hippies. Yeah. <laughs> He frequents those, and it's something I'd rather not deal with at all. <laughs> if I stay with him, I'd eventually have to. I mean, I need to support my partner and what he does, but if it's something like that... You see? That's the problem right there! You stay breaking up like you had something formal, but most of the time you're just still getting to know him. Think about it, have you... And did your longest lasting relationship things like those? Okay, sorry for not using the right word or whatever, but I'm still sorely disappointed. <laughs> that sounds beyond- Oh, it's gonna be Burning Man! Oh my god, Burning Man role players! <laughs> and at least I'm trying to get some action. When was the last time you spent the night with someone else? Last night. Your cat does not count. <laughs> A year ago and it was messy. <laughs> See? 
I mean, I have no idea how you deal with that. If I were you, I would have pushed the fuck by over into the closet ages ago. What? <laughs> Stop it! Yeah. For the fuck, boy. People have different needs and priorities. Yeah, but don't you miss having the warmth of someone else by your side? <laughs> Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfume with theirs, putting your head on their chest, listening to them, <laughs> listening to them breathe as <laughs> they pet your head. I'm getting back into the other lady voice. I'm getting back into the lady voice. I need to go more American. Putting your head on their chest, listening to them breathe as they pet your head. Dilzing off, knowing that they're watching you, protecting you. Jill. Anything I can make you to shut up and drink? <laughs> I'll have you know that my uncle Juan taught me ventriloquism when I was 12. <laughs> Drinking was... That's such, a, that's such a strange fun fact. Almer is built different. Yeah, she really is. She really is. Drinking won't stop me from talking or making tasteless puns for Aunt Rosa. Rosa, I... Still, get me something weird, would you? I'm starting to feel so... <laughs> uh, ventriloquism. <laughs> weird, weird, a weird drink. Yeah, something different, experimental, uncommon. Let's see. Weird drink, hmm, promo drinks fit that bill. Uh, type, promo drink. Maybe boom, bloom light. Spicy promo blend. Hmm. Zenstar. Sour promo blend. I guess Zenstar. This game gives me the vapor wave kind of wretch. Yeah, good taste. Hey, it was recommended by the jetpack, so. Can't believe you guys <laughs> for the first for your fifth anniversary. <laughs> okay. Zenstar. I think the Zenstar is weird, right? It's four of each ingredients on the rocks mi mixed. Can't wait for the sequel. Ah. Guys, you got me into- like you, There's so many games I get addicted to. Pro bitter Plomo Blend. Unbearable. Let's go with- I want to try the Zen Star. Four of each ingredient. Let's do it. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. This is weird. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. She's gonna hate this. One, two, three, four. How could someone like this? Oh, she's gonna despise it. She's gonna despise it. Okay, let's go. Mix. One, two, three, four, five. Make it big? I don't think we can get any bigger than that. <laughs> okay, let's go. Here. Yeah, this fits the bill. It's a promotional drink made to commemorate a movie. Read, they leapt at the chance to sell drinks that would be unmarkable otherwise. <laughs> oh. You know, your, your orders are weird today. They are? Yeah, they're usually the first thing you ask for is a brandy teeny and then something like a cobalt velvet or something similar. Well, I sometimes feel like I need something different, you know? Something tells me part of the reason is you left Damien is because he was too deep into routine. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, speaking of routines, as a hacker, what's your opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing? Mm. That silence of someone who's just heard something stupid. Stupid enough to warrant the speech they're prepared just for the occasion like this. <laughs> As always, very perceptive of you. You know, decades ago, there was this group of people that hacked simple sites with an agenda. I can't remember what they used to call themselves. I just remembered it was like petty vandalism. Anyway, everyone that participated started using the same name. They wanted to create this anonymous anarchist identity. The whole Alice Rabbit thing is the logical conclusion to that. It's what happens when the idea reaches its breaking point and goes mainstream. It's no longer a group, but an individual. 
an untouchable entity watching from the shadows, monitoring, jondering, everything everyone does. Observing, tolerating, no one but itself. A lot of bullshit for what it's essentially a pet made up, the, the press made up. The antithesis of your usual boogeyman, if you must. So you don't think such a person exists? Don't know, and don't care. I mean, we have seen the action of such entity. But it might be anything, an individual, a group, an AI. That's not taking into account all the copycats and the pranksters using the name. So Alice Rabbit is a thing that exists, but it's also really muddled overall. There's something else that worries me though. The kind of story always catches the attention of kids and such. They start trying to hack stuff without knowing the risk or the consequences. Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. That's how it feels for me. Let's take to that damn Alice Rabbit thing. I see. <laughs> but enough of that. There's more pressing matter at hand. There is? Yeah, you've been delaying my invitation for hanging out sometime for too long. <laughs> oh yeah, that. Do you hate me that much, Jill? Does my present make you that <laughs> uncomfortable? No, I... <sighs> this may, I might just crash in your apartment. That way you can't just say no. <gasps> Maybe I'll also crash for the night. <laughs> we could have a sleepover, braid our hair, tell stories all night, shower together. You know, you need some human warmth in that place. <laughs> Your tits alone would fill my entire bathroom. Man, you act too nonchalantly. It's no fun. We act a little bit. Let me tease you for a second. I just refuse. In all serious, although. Any particular reason you keep turning down my invitations? I mean... It's not a date. I just want to have a conversation. Go outside these four walls. <laughs> Is that what girls do at sleepovers? Yes. Yes, actually. Yeah. <laughs> K kind of? I mean, at least the ones I went to. I didn't get invited to a lot of sleepovers, but... There was always like one or two girls that would encourage like that kind of behavior. They're like, oh, I'm just teasing. What if we play the pocky game? What if we all show each other what each other's bras look like? And and then you and then you just sit there and be like, no, I don't, I don't wanna, I don't and then they're like, no, come on, it'll be funny! Come on, it'll be funny! It'll be funny! And you're like, is this funny? And at the same time, you're like, this is kinda like I kind of want to see, but like, cause I, but I'm just saying that's what I remember my sleepovers being like. Yes, they're called lesbians. Oh, that ex explains a lot of my next student friend group. <laughs> not that I had a friend group, but like, um, I'm not being. I'm telling you, a, I'm telling you a childhood story, jetpack. I'm telling you a childhood story. But they asked about the hands. <laughs> oh, now we're talking. No, I'm telling you guys a childhood story, like. I wasn't invited to a lot of sleepers, but the few that I did go to definitely ended up going that direction. And you'd get all like bashful and be like, <laughs> oh, wouldn't it be silly if we like did a kissing game? Weird. Weird now that I look back on it. Very strange. I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm having a self realization moment, okay, Jetpack? <laughs> uh, I registered for night shifts precisely to avoid waking up early. The earliest I've asked you out is 10 a.m., you know. That's early morning by my standards. Um, I mean, it's not that I don't want to hang out, I just don't want to wake up early. <laughs> you are hopeless. Anyway, I'm going to now the drink here. <laughs> Stacy, wouldn't it be like crazy if we made it in the bathroom like for real though insane? Like, okay, it was it was never like really like, super sus or your buy. Like it was never it was just like ah oh, tee hee. Oh, what do you guys' bras look like? Ha 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 Like, we didn't talk about guys, they just... 
Yeah, weird. I'm, I'm, I'm realizing something. I'm realizing something about my childhood jetpack, okay? I'm realizing something. Please, bear with me. Play with, bear me with me. Guys, sleepovers suck by comparison. We just play cod all night. Playful just... I didn't think... I, I remember being embarrassed. I mean, I remember being embarrassed. 2020 hindsight. I know, right? Uh, but like, excited? <laughs> anyway, um, I mean... I mean... For me, it was play card, eat my dong, chug a little Mountain Dew. Hell yeah, mine was video games. See, I think I'd prefer that. Uh, like, I, I think I think I would have preferred the video game route. We never really played video games. We'd just like sit around and girly, not girly stuff, but like it was always, <gasps> it was always the really girly, like the really girly one always like encouraged it. She's like, haha, like kind of bullied you into it. The girl with the bigger chest. The girl with the bigger ones should be like, <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if we like all showed each other our bras? And I'm just sitting here like, showed our what? Feminine? Feminine. Girly. Feminine. Yeah. And I'd be like, show what? Like, I, <laughs> what do you mean? Like, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? Okay. Anyway, you have those? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ah. She wanted to boast her assets, probably. Like a bartini. Finally, that's the Alma I know. <laughs> Nada, welcome in! A big brantini, easy enough. Can do. I'll get one for my lady here. Let's, oh, thank you for the hydrate. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One. Can you do? Wait, hold up. Can I make it larger? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Oh, I can! I can! Well, oh, that's all good. That's all good, Nada. Have a lovely sleep. Okay. <laughs> Have a good sleep. I think that was correct. I hope that was correct. Mixed. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh, I think, oh yes, nice, nice. Girls are sauce, no surprises. I remember being very embarrassed and being very awkward. But I almost actually had, I think I had, up to this moment, I think I had blocked out that memory. I think I'd blocked out that memory because that was the first time I was ever invited to a girls party. Prior to that, um, I clicked the age button. Yeah, 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 yeah. I definitely did. Um, you're waking? Ah, oh, I have a nice waking up. Um, I remember, like, for most of them, when I was really little, I only hung, hang out, hung out with the guys. I only hung out with the dudes. I was part of the dude club. Don't apologize. It's okay. It's funny. It's funny. I hung out with the boys. I was just, like, the only chick that hung out with the boys. So, like, most when I was, like, what, what, what people would think was preschool. Preschool. Um, but then from middle school, because I moved around a lot, because I moved around, I moved to like a, a new a new facility, and they were like, the guys don't hang out with the girls here, and so it was like the girls kind of like took me under their wing and like, oh, the new girl, you're so cute, let us tease you and bully you, <laughs> but in a nice way, like in the way that girls are like, oh, you're so sweet, and you're like. Uh, thank you. I I just kind of want to read my books to make my art. Yo, scary. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was like, I don't. I never hang out, hung out with girls uh, before that. So like, when I was hanging out with girls, they were like, I had really short hair too. Like everyone thought I was boy when I first when I moved to this facility. And they're like, oh, we're gonna teach you how to do makeup. We're gonna. Like, I think they kind of saw me as a little bit like a toy, like a like a doll. They're like the new girl. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and they were very scary. And I think that's, yeah. So it was like my first time going to a female sleepover. I was like, oh, what am I doing here? <laughs> what is this? Uh, I just remember, I was like, I'm used to playing war in the backyard. Uh, when are we gonna, when are we gonna get, get the fake guns out? Is this when we get the fake guns out? When when do we get to play, when do we get to climb a tree? Uh, when do we, do we climb a tree now? Can we, do we climb trees? Is this the tree climbing part of it? <laughs> 
pixel like that. Yeah, it was very intense. Doing nails, nah, mate. I want to throw the back of Bud Light with the Brodies. Yeah, exactly. Makeup, what kind of weapon is that? Yeah, that was kind of exactly what it was like. And then that would have been what like Burger Bros considered to be middle school. And then when I moved later in like uh, high school, uh, I kind of just kept myself after all that. I was like, I'm just going to read my books in the library. I think, I think that will be safe for me. I think I'll just le read the books in the library. Thank, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, Baratini's is such a weird old name. It was originally supposed to be a replicant of the Martini. Problem is that the BTC got hold of a brand of Vermont and that the name was named after a certain automobile company? Oh, interesting. So, on a weird whim, they changed the name. I see. You know, I was wondering. Yeah. Don't you worry about what people you work for might be doing with this information you provide? Just the only makeup I know is war paint. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't got no chest. I just got no makeup. I just want to fight in <laughs> the battlefield. <laughs> Funny see, welcome in. Welcome into the jetpack, dude. <laughs> Not really. You don't? Do you worry about what happens when people leave this place drunk? Not really, most of the time. Well, neither do I. Why should you? Do people get drunk? <laughs> Welcome in, Fantasy. Some may say that my beauty is intoxicating, but that's beside the point. <laughs> I get my payment, I do my job, I forget about the whole thing. You make your job sound so easy. Once you understand what precautions to take, it's no problem. And I've always found my job fun. However, most of my contracts are consultancy based gigs. It's not like every day is a thrill. Do you meet with your clients or... I don't. It's always from behind as many filters as I can manage. I remember once I did this job where I had a couple of kids relaying letters. For security reasons, right? Actually, uh, it's because that way I lose a lot less time. <laughs> I don't have to deal with clients hitting on me or pestering me after a job is done. <laughs> I also don't have to lose time providing my proving my worth because big boobs equals small brain or some shit like that. <laughs> I like her. She go bussin'. She go bussin'. I mean, protecting my identity is one, one of the reasons, but a few times I've shown myself. <sighs> They wouldn't even risk your dangerous jobs, just run-of-the-mill security checks. I don't know, maybe I need to show up as a disheveled nerd or something. I'll give them what they expect to see. Or I just don't show up and saves myself the trouble. Why all the questions? They're just things I've been curious about and I always forget to ask. So many Alice Rabbit headlines have made me wonder about this hacking business too. Oh, remember... Oh. I'll remember to ask you things next time then. Well, I'll take my leave now. See ya. Okay, every time a MILF leaves the screen, I'm so happy I don't have to do the MILF voice <laughs> anymore. Who's this, Holy Sugar? Mm. Mr. Donovan! Like my pops used to say, never touch the ass of a woman with a metallic am. <laughs> <laughs> you seem nice too. Yeah, she did seem actually really nice. I think that's more like plastic and carbon fiber. They are the fuck. And that's my abdomen fault. Wait, what? What? That's what my old man. <laughs> no, 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 Donovan. Donovan, no. Donovan, no. Um, do you normally greet people that way? I'm a man, I can't contain myself when he sees something he likes, kid. <laughs> oh, but don't worry, you're safe. You're flatter than a field at my summer house. Donovan. Donovan. And it's a problem why, Donovan? It's a problem why, Donovan? Jill isn't in flat. Yeah, me too, I ain't flat either. Me, me, me too, Jill. Me too. <laughs> uh, a bit of advice, you shouldn't provoke the one serving you drinks or food. Don't be offended, kid. 
You got, you have a new audience, I'm not part of it. Today I'm making this quick, quick one, gonna turn a business in a while. Having said that, ah, just have the usual. The usual, he says. <sighs> My god. Let's, let's give him the beer. We know what he wants. He wants some beer, he wants it strong. Double shot beer. Two of those, four of those. Uh, two of these, four of these. Bam, bam. And a lot of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> this is where someone needs the channel points. Yeah. <laughs> All mixed, baby. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Just the usual. Sure, and it's a work. What brings you today, Mr. Donovan? That girl I interviewed yesterday is coming again in a couple of weeks. So I was working to clinch an exclusive interview. Did you succeed? Who the hell you think you're talking to? <laughs> I'm Donovan D. Dawson. I always get what I want. <laughs> sure, I had to blackmail the editors of the other outlets, but the end results what matters. <laughs> I see. Wait, blackmail? You'll be surprised the kind of stuff you find out when you get the right people drunk. Me. The signature on that glass over there. Oh, oh yeah. That big titty limb was here. <laughs> Thank you for the stretch free. God damn it, Mr. Donovan. He's gotta stop doing that. He's gotta stop saying things like that, man. It's like, you gotta get yourself in trouble, my dude. Oh god, oh I haven't stretched Oh, I haven't stretched all day, fuck. <laughs> oh god, oh jeez. Oh, thank you for the hydrate too, guys. Appreciate it. Checking in on me, making sure I'm not being a dingus. I appreciate that. She came in yesterday before the concert, yeah. Anything juicy come out of a visit? <laughs> no. Gossip worthy? <laughs> No! Tabloid worthy! No! Come on, there's gotta be something! <laughs> well, I love what she does, it's so pure and honest that anyone who tries to ruin it should be ashamed. Oh, don't give me that shit! Don't me a bone here, anything! I've got nothing. Everyone has a price, how much for you to spill the beans? <laughs> I'm serious here. She said nothing that could be used against her. Or that you didn't already know. Fine. Hey, kid. You think William has nipples? Fucking hell. <laughs> I need a read before I speak. <laughs> Excuse me? I mean, I've seen a couple of pronouns where they have them, but, uh, could be modded, you know. Could be modded. So yesterday, while interviewing the single William chick, I kept wondering if those tits had nipples. <laughs> Excuse me, he's also respected and accomplished journalism. It's true, it's true, it's true, it's true. Well, does she? This is the antithesis of November. Yeah, what is this stream? Why are we doing this stream in November? Jetpack, I'm sorry. I mean, I'll be fine without them, but the curiosity is killing me. <laughs> um, but I'm even more curious about the engineers that designed them. <laughs> Can you get a picture? A room full of people discussing whether or not the pits look kind of William look good. <laughs> a bunch of guys at a lesbo engineer wondering the latest models. Whoa, whoa, was good enough. <laughs> Man, God bless those sons of bitches. <clears throat> Any interesting preview of tomorrow's news? This man's confidence is something I you expect me to share my information when you wouldn't share your scoop on the skin. <laughs> How can one share when there's honestly nothing to share? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be a good citizen today and let this one pass. 
Have you heard of a group called the Harbringers? Not really, no. There's some group waiting to overthrow the White Knights. I read their manifesto in the bathroom was interesting piece and even better makeshift toilet paper. <laughs> they talk about how the organization is corrupt, full of mob bosses or something like that. I think I've heard about that somewhere. What of them? They sent me a message to some outlets saying they got proof of their claims. They're gonna release it to the public tomorrow. Oh, that'd be interesting to see, I think. I know, right? Alright, kid, give me a bleeding Jane, I'll call it a day. Okay. <laughs> bleeding Jane. Bleeding Jane. We gotta have one, Bronson. Three power Delta. Three Flanagan. Uh, oh, blended. Should we, should we, should we? Should we? No, no, we won't double it. We'll just mix it. One, two. Oh, yeah. Wait till it's all blended. Yo, yo, welcome! Bleed Jane, bleed Jane. Hopefully this is good. Hopefully he doesn't want to double one. When the time comes, he won't say a word to the green goblins. This guy's okay in my books. Here. Yeah. Simple enough for you, I see. Hmm? So I've heard this is Dana Zane's bar. Is that true? Yeah. Never thought I'd hear about the underfeet of the West again. More so after that incident with the bears that she's in. <laughs> Where is she? The bears? The bears? The bears? The bears? <laughs> Man crew, no fucks in his field, of fucks. She's out running some of bears. Six years ago, a crash at Dana Zane in an underground ring for money. Face 10 engaged grizzly bear. She bet them all without killing them. Holy shit. I heard she sent them free afterwards too. This, our boss is amazing. The undefeated of the West. <laughs> our boss is amazing. God, I welcome in. <laughs> and you were there? I was drunk and bored. What can I say? <laughs> Do you know if she lost her arm there? Can't remember. Too drunk. Maybe she had a prosthetic then too. I heard someone there suggest that she lost it after throwing a basketball out of some stadium. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Who starts these exactly? Do it so hard her arm fell off. How? How do you throw something so hard your arm falls off? But that sounds more like an unsubstantiated rumor. More like something she made up. Well, I gotta go. Next time you see Dana, thank you for winning me my second yacht. Second yacht. Second yacht. Very, very hard. <laughs> She's strong? Yes. <laughs> I knew beating her was the right choice. Betting on her. Sorry. Please come again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> The way the boss is like, dude, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, are we in, are we in our break? We are on break, okay. Nice. Who's gonna come in next, Jetpack? Who are we gonna meet? Who's next? What voice do I have to try and pretend to do? <laughs> okay for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Oh, jukebox. Commencing simulation. I think that was very intense. Too intense. I want... Who was I? I, I want that one. I want to... Change that one out. Drive me... Oh, wait. Good for health, bad for... Ooh! Stormblade, welcome to the jetpack, dude! Donovan is my new role model. <laughs> oh my god! Ah, boss, you're back! Yeah, sorry about not being here earlier. What, what, what were you doing? I had a brief meeting with the BTC regional manager. Oh, everything alright? As alright as it can be, considering that we're closing eventually. When will that happen? I don't know. Brian says we'll be safe here for a few months where the paperwork is filled and everything's been put in order. Oh. 
I was also talking to him about you. About me? Yeah, I was telling him to do whatever it takes to ensure you don't spend too much time without a job. If possible, to reassign you to the SAAP after closing. Huh? Hey, if it helps, Brian might be the angriest of us all. You want to close the only bar in the whole area that hasn't given me any headaches, he said. <laughs> what about Gil? He's the one that's worried me the most, actually. It's kind of working using the credential of another guy that was working here before. Who? Want to brought up the Leviation Potion and then threw himself off a- Whoa! Ah, uh, yeah, the Leviation- Levitation Potion story. Use weird euphemisms, boss. Anyway... I find it hard to believe that Gil's will find a job after all this. Just who is Gil? I have no idea who he is, but I'm still putting the pieces together. Anyway, back to work. Imminent closure is no excuse to slack off. Yes, sir. Boss is so young. Yeah, she's so cool. She's so cool. You guys know I can hear you, right? It's John. This place looks familiar. <gasps> Drill hair cat girl. I repeat. Drill hair cat girl. What does she sound like? What the hell does she sound like? I feel like she's got the <laughs> You know like the I'm doing the anime hand near the mouth thing like the <laughs> what, what does she sound like? Oji Sizuma? Yeah, yeah, yeah Excuse me, I don't know if I can do Oji Sizuma I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a I'm not a voice actor Chat, remember this, remember this <laughs> Yeah, that one Yasua <laughs> Like, is that- Oh god! Excuse me! Uh, this is gonna be bad! This is gonna be bad! Drill the hair, I can't- Oh god! More like Mummy Ara Ara. We've done two mummies. They've both been low quality. Let's try this. Excuse me! Is this the Valhalla bar? It is indeed. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh god! What is sea planning now? Excuse me? I want a drink. Whose name was charged after many women protested? Can you get me that? <laughs> is that okay? Stella, my beloved! It's only got transported to 1940 speakeasy guys. <laughs> sure. We're gonna work on that. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> We gotta work on that. You ready for the Stella surprise? Oh god, oh god. By name? A drink whose name was changed after people caused a stink. Piano woman? Are you guys giving me hints? Grizzly temple? No. Fringe weaver. Bleeding Jane? I'm thinking maybe... Maybe... Grizzly Temple or... Bleeding Jane? Oh, I'm trying to think of ones with ladies' names. Ladies' names. Am I on the right track? Am I on the, on the, am I on the right, right track? J jetpack, jetpack. Let me know if I'm on the right track. Is it Piano Woman? <gasps> Perfect! All the dreams have lore! Thank you, Hedda Bomb! It was originally called Pretty Woman, but too many people complained that there should be a Piano Woman, there's a Piano Man. There we go! Thank you! Thank you for the Elpids. Three, four, five. Oh, this is a strong drink. A lot going into this one. Two powdered Delta. Three flan, we can get you that, ladies. Oh, good. And three of those. Whoo! Uh, aged and mixed. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, bam. Nice. Now I have to fear going back into the Ogisus in my voice. I think I need to do more like, Wah, wah. But I don't know how to do it. I need to, I need to watch more. I don't watch, I don't watch d d d uh, subbed and um, dubbed anime. So I don't get to, oh God. Here you go. Very nice. Thanks a lot. So you know saying this? I'm Stella Hoshi. My pleasure. Ah. Yeah, I know her. She's been here before, yes? Yeah, in fact, I'm glad you know her because she left this here last time. Oh God, she left her helmet behind again. I need to be drunk to do this. Next time we play this game, Jetpack, I'm drinking. Next time, next time we play this game, I'm drinking, okay? I'm gonna do one of an evening stream and I'm drinking. <laughs> Uh, oh, how much have been picked up by all sorts of people in the last three months? Probably sound like Ma from Yu-Gi-Oh. Mai from Yu-Gi-Oh? I never watched Yu-Gi-Oh. I never watched Yu-Gi-Oh. Drunk bartending, let's go! What? That's what? Valets, nurses, morticians, fire jugglers. She's been lucky enough to always leave it with the people returning, at the least. Whoa, quite a few people. It says as much as a sociable girl as she's a total klutz. Fake nerd. I never watched Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I, I'll take it. I will take the fake yeah, nerd thing. Never watched Dragon Ball. Never watched Yu-Gi-Oh. I was way too much into like Lucky Star and cute girls. I was like, I liked Moe girls. Moe girls and Star Trek. <laughs> what a combination to be fair. At least when she's not being serious, she's very competent. When she puts her mind to it. I see. Shame on you! Whoa! So did she recommend you this place? The yu gi the way the OG series completely batshit? Do you really think you could beat me? You're a third-rate duelist with a fourth-rate deck. <laughs> We're meeting here today. I can see why she chose this place. It's kind of a place she likes. <sighs> Say, is that Kirimiki's autographs from that glass? I'm trying. <laughs> Imagine Moe, girl Star Trek. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I love it. It's just what the fuck the voice. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it is. How did you get it? <laughs> she stopped here yesterday just before the concert. Really? <laughs> I mean, she did? <laughs> yeah, nice girl. Can I see it? Sure. <laughs> yeah, this is a star like signature. It's hers. So your name's Jill then? Yep. Ain't this nice? Here, here you go. Do you like her, Miss Stella? Just call me Stella. <laughs> I do. Whenever you hear her songs, you just fill me with so much energy and happiness. Too bad I couldn't purchase tickets for this one. I mean, they were sold out in minutes. Lucky I could secure a couple for next time she comes around. Oh, excuse me for a second. Hello, where the hell are you? Oh, hello! Yeah, maybe that's better. Car crash? Oh, you're helping? Will it take long? All right. Is that better? I feel like that's better. That's getting better. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I take that was sight? Yeah. Will you wait for her? I will. In the meantime, I feel like having another drink. Can I just do anime mum voice for her? <laughs> One that was prepared in the memory of its creator. Create his dearest friend. All right. Oh, 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 oh! I remember. There was one. That, yes, yes. I remember. We got. We talked about this earlier. Oh wait. Do I remember the actual drink name? Wait a second. I don't know if I remember. Um, there was one that was made for a, for the friend. 
Oh, was it a promo drink? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, classy drinks? Oh, I don't remember. A classic drink. Yeah, you maybe you're right. <laughs> you look like a fool. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> PG rated show's favorite beer since 2040. <laughs> you remember? Was it other piano? I think you might be right. It might be the other piano man. Yeah, I think you're right because it was after the piano story with the little with a little girl. I'm gonna risk it. I think we should do it. I think we should do it. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. <laughs> ah, move my mic. Don't mind me. It's loud. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, on the rocks. And mix. One, two, three, five, six. Is this the one you had in mind? Yes, exactly. Thank you. May I ask you something that might be personal? It isn't about my eye, is it? No, 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 no it's not. Or, not. or at least I don't think so. I don't get to serve many cat boomers. Is she literally called a cat boomer? So it's something I've been curious about. Did you go through the procedure because of a disease or because of it's a fad? Before I was born, I was diagnosed with nanomachine rejection. Old hag cat. So it had to be done. Otherwise, I would have died shortly after birth. I'm a bit on the weak side because of it, though. I'm sorry if I overstepped. I don't mind. It's always nice to dispel the idea that my parents would just into the fad you seem to know your drinks jill well i guess i read a bit more than the recipe book i like i'll take an old haggly cat lady do you like alcohol yeah but not in the usual way i don't drink that much outside of canned beer <gasps> jill is just like me for real <laughs> just like me a post is okay shut up egg <laughs> You're a true style, both of you. You can't get away with this. That hair and attitude doesn't seem weak. <laughs> but the colors, their stories, the way you need to keep them stored, the designs. It sounds a bit silly when I say it out loud. Not at all. Do you collect them or anything like that? Actually, yeah, I started with my grandpa's collection and have been slowly growing it. It's been hard because of my debts, but I manage little by little. Do you like alcohol, Stella? I'm here, right? But I'm normally more of a social drinker. Unless it's with somebody I don't tend to drink much. I see. Sorry I'm late. Welcome. <gasps> you took your sweet time. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I got caught in the rush hour traffic and I figured water he might be faster. Lucky there was a boarding with emergency stairs nearby and I climbed down. Climbed down? Took an air cub? Oh! I would suggest using ground transportation, but I'm happy to see you safely first. Safety? No, 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 no! Flying cars are just way cooler! I still don't understand how they don't give you motion sickness. If I find out how I avoid it, I'll. I'll you'll be the first to know. Anyway, I'll have whatever she ordered next. I'd like. The drink that was. You're at it again! You and your cryptic orders! Leaving us with weird stuff. Hey! I expect only the best from ever serves me. We need to be able to answer these kinds of orders. Still, I'm sure you're wearing poor Jill here out with that kind of stuff. She's done quite well so far, actually. Really? Thank you. <laughs> Whatever, please order something normal, would you? That will be two fringe weavers then. <laughs> You'll have two tr drinks at once? 
No one was sharing. <laughs> what, like half a glass for each? Isn't it better if it's just one for each? Don't worry, you'll still, still soon see. Two fringe weavers, easy enough. Okay, I can do this. I can do two fringe weavers. Hey, they're a simple drink too. Wow, they're strong. She's gonna make this small kid swasty. They are strong. Oh, they're doing shots. They're doing shots. They're doing shots. I see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. I'm getting distracted. One, two, five, eight, nine. Aged and one, two, three, four, five. Hey, two fringe weathers. Give them two straws, like a milkshake. <laughs> yeah. Two fringe with it, weavers. So, this one's for you, and this one's for me. You said you wanted whatever I asked for, right? Ooh, that way, you could have just said so earlier. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, here. Hey, so that's where I left my helmet. Thanks. You really need to be more careful with your things. Yeah, but I have spares. Those oh, spares should be safe for when... For when the one you're using breaks or malfunctions, not when you lose it. Those helmets cost money, you know. Yeah, sorry. Did you just say the boss got a head stuck in it because of a jam button? VB long neck, surely? <laughs> VB long neck at 9 o'clock in the fucking morning? Speaking of money, is it all going to that meeting in the bank account tomorrow? Yep. You worried? I'll refrain for now. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Don't be, you'll be fine. Rumors are just rumors. Are they dating? Yeah, that's a question. Are they dating? Rumors? They say something might happen at the bank tomorrow. But with all the tension in the air, lately it's hard to know if it's true. As if their fear-mongering wasn't enough, the people have also started spreading baseless rumor. Just yesterday, I had to stop a group of rampaging youngsters that heard the city would be leveled by bombs. Oh, everyone's on edge. Yeah. I know you're worried, but I have to go there. It's orders from the higher-ups. They look like they're dating. I'm all for it. Red and blue. When they get too close, it's in 3D. <laughs> Tell me something. If somebody came after me, you'd think they'd stand a chance? You're quite strong, but... I'll take something to protect, protect myself. I'll be prepared for anything. Would that make you feel safe? Maybe. I'll tell you what. After I come back, we'll get some ice cream. That way we can vent all your frustrations. All right. Seems my vehicle's here to pick me up. You coming, see? Nah, I'll stay here for a bit longer. Okay then, take care. Bye. She's such a worry rot. <laughs> I think she's. I think she cares about you, man. <laughs> I think. I think this is one of the. I think this is like a mother daughter. I think this is a mother daughter dynamic. I think. I think. I think. I think. I think Stella cares a lot about Sai a lot. And doesn't want her to get hurt. And I think it's kind of wholesome. It means she cares about you. I've never doubted. Say, why does my helmet smell like bacon? Uh, bacon? Not like mine, I'm just curious. C. Oh, C. C. E. C. E. Oh, thank you. C. E. Thank you. Well, you know, how about things absorb the smell of what they're nearby? It must have been grabbed from one of the ingredients. I see. Do you believe all that stuff about the tensions growing and the anarchist groups trying to disband the White Knights? To tell you the truth, I'm a bit worried. Even in my division, there's some shady business going on, but I don't want to investigate it too deeply. What kind of business? From what I understand, it's things like working with human traffickers or drug dealers or letting them act as they wish. Some even say the ones that do get apprehended are the ones that have failed in some way. Stella always says the White Knights are just glorified mulk of security. She says that if it's been proven beyond a doubt that some shady business is going on. 
Zabatsu Corp Corp's main branch would segregate himself from the whole White Knight division. Something about the associates' fear of bad PR resulting in them moving to the BTC. Sounds plausible. Yeah, it kind of worries me though, because I really like my job. Like say, say from say so, say, ah, oh, say. So say, so say, so say, say so. <laughs> and I guess a familiar fear exists amongst the upper ranks and lately they seem restless. Too much politics, huh? It hurts my brain, I just want to rescue people and help them. I just want to do my job without worries about politics of any kind. She's so sweet, bro! Um, what will you be doing at the bank tomorrow? My colonel needs to relay some information to the manager, and I was picked because he trusts me. Well, he said, you're such a simpleton that you'll never give me the wrong message. And it's his intention that counts. <laughs> Buzz driver, welcome in. Oh. oh. <gasps> okay, chap. Let me hydrate. Let me hydrate. Jesus Christ. I, I was hoping she wouldn't rock up before the stream ended. <sighs> Finally, the Dorothy has come back to Valhalla. <laughs> Please refrain from doing this sitcom like emphasis. You're disturbing our clients. Oh, come on. You know the audience would have gone wild with that one. And besides, you make it sound like you have a full house. <clears throat> It's still uncommon to see you here two days in a row. I wanted to grab something before starting my shift. <sighs> grab something before they start grabbing me, you could say. Hey, you having a drink? Can I buy you one? She's making a reference to The Rock. Get it? Funny one streamer. Is she really? I don't watch wrestling. <laughs> I don't know anything about wrestling. Why, yes, thank you. Honey, you should follow her example and offer me drinks more often. We'll see. What are you having? I'll have what she's having. Then I've got the perfect thing. Let's have a blue fairy. One for both? One for each. All right. <laughs> okay, by name, blue fairy. Blue fairy for each. Okay, we've got four of the al aloe, one flan, and a little bit of that. Uh, aged and mixed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice! <laughs> the rock would always say, Finally, the rock has come back to. Ah! Uh, who named the daughter Dyer Dorothy in the year 1960? It's true, it's true. Was say just wants to share a drink with someone. I know it's really cute. <laughs> One, two, three, four. She keeps wanting to share ah, a little bit of that. Aged and one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, let's go. Two fairies. Hey, this is pretty good. <laughs> Michael Vsauce here. Um, see. And it's blue, like your hair. It is! So, what's your name, sweetie? You can call me Say. Alright, Say. I'm Dorothy. Say, stay. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> He's Say. <singing. laughs> yes, yes. Say, stay. <laughs> say, say. Why'd you just buy me a drink? I just thought you were cute as a button and I wanted to invite you to join me. <laughs> wow. Well, you have to be the first person to offer me a drink without having an ulterior motive. And that includes Fuckboy over there. What do you mean? Trust me, when you work in my kind of field, you learn to read cues from everything. And this skill is simple to a fault. 
How so? You're the... What you see is what you get type. The look in your face is of one that simply sees no point in lying. Coupled with the fact that you're here in what looks like your work attire tells me that you're so married to your job that sex is too far down your priority list to notice its existence. <laughs> uh, what? <clears throat> so if you invited me to drink, it's because you found me cute. And that's the extent of it. I believe you. Thank you. You say she's the first one, but what about Dil giving you a ticket the other day? Who? Oh yeah, the William with the dogs. No, he doesn't count. He looks like a humanoid mat. Ouch! <laughs> you seem very perceptive, Dorothy. But I'm not too far behind. How so? I can tell your body is he heavily molded with things that shouldn't even have. Your tongue is BEB069 with DNA scanning capabilities. Your skin is coated with an anti-radiation finish. Your joints are of the premium extra flexible variety. And the most important thing, your hands. Go on. What, what about them? I don't know. How modded your body is under your clothes, the tongue, the joints, the skin are merely interesting. But your hands are the MIRD113 of Relata Industries. A model designed to shoot class 5 bullets from its fingertips. <gasps> Let's go! So, so cool! So cool! So cool! So cool! So cool! So, so? Clause G of Article 17 in the Augmentation and Modification Law and the Topics of Ballistic Augmentation. Any humanoid or sapient creature under civilization design has an upgraded any of its person. To hold firearms of class 3 grades or higher will be either be commissioned for disarmament or sent to the danger zone. What, what are you gonna do? Nothing. <laughs> I'm not in law enforcement. I just do rescue. And even if I was, I'm not on duty right now. Oh, oh. <laughs> I want to know though. Why did you, did you go through with that upgrade? A girl's gotta take care of herself, you know? <laughs> a walking machine gun? She back in the end! <laughs> I wanna be able to deal with the things if they get ugly. And this is the most discreet mod I had. Or at least I thought so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay then. Can I give you some advice? I guess. The reason I could tell it's not your default hand model is your fingertips. The tips are a little bigger to make the can cannons fit. You could get a small mod that changes them into disposable tips. Assuming they're being used for self-defense and not regular use, of course. Ah, uh, I see. Well, I gotta go. Yeah, yes, another thing. Uh, if you aim for the arms or the legs, once it's self-defense. Anything more, it's assault. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bye bye Dorothy, bye Jill! Bye bye! <laughs> Please come again! <laughs> I thought she was gonna take me away! <laughs> oh no, oh no! I will put my mind in the back of the Kill if I behave well. <laughs> Dorothy got gaslit. <laughs> That's just what happens when you underestimate people. Although I'm tempted to ask. About what? DNA reading tongue? Very prehensile. Intuitive. Also, a vibe. <laughs> of course it does. Of course it does, Dorothy. Thank you. Of course, of course it does work, but of course it's extra flexible joints. Do you really need to ask? Anti-radiation coating. Hey, my skin is first tool of the trade. I need to take care of it as much as possible. And it makes it feel so soft no matter how much it's being battered. 
this girl, this girl, this girl, jetpack, this girl. All right then. So you fancy yourself a diviner reading people and all? Not really. I'm just quite good at reading people. I guess it's a byproduct of dealing with so many people on a daily basis. It's a bit surreal to heal that from Melillion. What can you say about me then? Let's see. Hmm. You're very, very, very sexually frustrated. <laughs> Any other homies in November? <laughs> Having a fun time? <laughs> it's not the act itself, but rather that your partner can't seem to satisfy you on a deeper level. There's even deeper frustrating. Something happened that's blocking you. Maybe there's someone who knows will return your feelings. Maybe you were hurt in the past. Thus, your demeanor is that of someone who feels like life is playing a trick on her. Like a dog whose owner never really throws the ball. Oh boy! Did I actually hit the nail on the head? I was making this stuff up on the fly! <laughs> All of that was just rubbish. <laughs> I say because it's right 80% of the time. <laughs> Generic bullshit, if you will. You'll be surprised from the amount of sexual frustrated people hold. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read you, honey. You're too good at putting on a professional face. But definitely gives me more insight into you. Lucky, lucky! <laughs> Aren't you late or something? I am. But if you'd let me satisfy your frustration, I could solve for some time. Go! <laughs> fine, fine. Bye-bye, honey. <laughs> artificial intelligence has come further by. One wonders how artificial it remains. <laughs> Shut up, fuckboy! <laughs> Everything done? Yeah. Hey, boss, this might seem random, but... Do you remember the first time I came into the bar? That was a bit gay. <laughs> I'm thinking of that one Bjork line which is like, very gay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, when you come to submit your contracts... Wait, when you came to submit your contracts? Yeah, why? Well, for some reason, I've been hung up on it since this morning. I, I just realized why. The visage that woke me back then was Gil trying to pull your hand out of a jar? Oh yeah, that. I can't remember what exactly, but something fell inside and I tried to like, retrieve it. It just kind of put my hand in there and it got stuck. It was a friend's jar too, so I couldn't break it. <laughs> hey Gil, did you get my hand out of the jar? <laughs> a straw and some butter. Oh yeah, clever solution. Yeah, yeah, that brings me to the random thought. That incident, the helmet yesterday, how many times your foot got stuck in something for stomping it? Boss, why do you get stuck in so many... Help me, boss Sue, I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, huh? Now that you mention it, this is one time she tried to eat a big sandwich and her drawers got stuck. Then there was an incident with the TV. I'll admit, my fault with the others, but the TV incident was not my fault. The assembly instructions for that stand should have labeled the Z's and S's better. <laughs> uh, you saw what happened when they switched the S2 pieces with the 5Z one. <laughs> Still, Jill's on to something here. <clears throat> yes, she is. Now go clean the dishes, and you can leave for today. <laughs> I like to think that she makes an effort now to avoid getting stuck in things. I wanna believe. Hell yeah, we made it to three days! We did three days, Jetpack! We did three days! Hey Buzz, by the way, I wanna come home so I can show my cool poster. <laughs> oh, I love the $300 bonus she gives me. That's so nice of her. Yes! Okay, we got the, uh, the 800 has been charged to your account, so remove your membership. Sweet, sweet. And let's save before we finish it. We'll wrap, we'll save and we'll wrap up. Uh, save back up. 
save. Page two. Perfect. That is it for day. Um, by the way, he was referring to, wait, uh, say, saying Dorothy was one shot in self-defense. Oh, 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 interesting. Oh, wait, I, I'm, I don't know what's going on in chat. I'm like, <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what's going on in chat? Thank you for clap. Move the decimal point one spot and you'll get it. Decimal point what one spot? Wait. Chat, <laughs> you're confusing me. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I have needs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's let's call cool it here today guys. I think this that's 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 it for the day. Stop talking about letters, stop talking Whoa, that was a quick change. Wait, what happened? Wait, wait a second. Where's my where's my stinger? <laughs> well, I don't know what happened to that. <laughs> <laughs> My stinger is gone. <laughs> I'll fix it after the stream. Um, thanks for the stream. It was fun. Game. I hope you guys had fun. I had a lot of fun. I, I I had a lot of fun. I finally some prime scuff. Shut up. That whole stream was prime scuff. I don't know what you're talking about. <gasps> Holy crap! We actually hit three thousand jetpacks. I I haven't looked over at OBS until now. I was looking. I was looking for. The, I was looking for the stinger. Um. What? What? <laughs> Uh, so apparently there's a lot of you here. Hi, welcome in. Um, why? Why? All I have to ask you is why? <laughs> I a lot of jetpacks. I thank you all for being here. Thank you all for choosing to click on this broadcast as the thing you wanted to see again in the future. Um, I appreciate that big time. Appreciate big, biggie, biggie, biggie smalls time. Uh, zoom in on the Jets records. No! Yeah. Funny tomboy goes brrrr. <laughs> oh, Julia, we're heading out. We're gonna try and find someone to raid. Let me take my headphones off. It's been, ooh, let me, let me, let me stretch. Ooh, every, just relax, end of stream. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all so much for hanging out today. That was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the silly voices. This definitely feels like something we, um, no, it's all quick, Cleo. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you, thank you. 3K, baby. Ah, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? 3K, that's a lot of jetpacks. What the fuck do I do? What the, do you guys want, do you guys want anything? What can I do? Can I, I, uh, I don't, I want to give back to the community. Chat, 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 chat. You guys have any cool ideas? I don't know. Do you do like a will of punishment or something? I don't know. <laughs> Bring back no mecha milkers will not return to be cheaper. You have to work for the mecha milkers, okay? You have to work for them. Backflip, I will, okay. So thank you, thank you all. Free, we're not doing it after the lose. We're not. Do a shoey. <gasps> okay. Kind of mad, but the only shoe I have to do out is like my eight thousand year old Doc Martin. That would be wild. <laughs> that would be dank. It would go everywhere. What's a shoey? Do it shoey. Um, horror game with hand cam. Horror game with hand cam. The fuck is a shoey? I could maybe do a shoey in VR. Makes a beer extra spicy. I could maybe do a shoey on the VR stream. Hand game with a horror cam? I, that I can arrange. That I can arrange. Should we on VR? Damn. I could do it because then you guys get the full tracking of me like doing the shoey. It's drinking out of a shoe? Yes, it is drinking out of a shoe. You have the technology? I feel like I could. Because I, I could. Why not drink it out of a glove? Doesn't work. It needs to be a shoe. It needs to be a boot. Okay, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to think about it. VR horror with heart rate monitor? Oh my god. That actually. Oh. Wait, that actually sounds like a crazy idea. VR horror with heart rate monitor? Okay. That could be a good idea, actually. Maybe next week, for like 3,000, we could do VR horror with a heart rate monitor. But I don't have a 3D model. So you wouldn't, it, unless we did VR horror in VR chat, it would just be POV. That's why I haven't done any like VR games because I don't have a 3D model, so I can't have like model on screen. Mm, it's like still messing around with the technology to get it to work. 
But if you take off your shoes and show your feet, I'm not showing my feet, not for free, chat. Chat, you don't get feet for free. <laughs> Sounds cool. That could be cool. That could be really cool. I could look into it. Maybe I can, maybe I can like try and rig it so my V-Roids on screen. I'll look into it. I might be able to rig it so my V-Roids on screen. How, theoretically, how much would it cost for? <laughs> Never give feet for free. No feet for 3K. No, how much? <laughs> I don't know. I've never thought about putting a price on my feet pics. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll look into, I'll look into, I'll look into how I would set up a horror game. I'll look into that. I'll look into it. I don't have full body tracking, so it'd be a bit jank. But I, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. I'll look into it. Uh... <laughs> oh God. The moment you set a price, there's a very short timer until it's $50? You think I'm only worth $50? 50 bucks? I can't even buy like a fancy cake from Woolworths for 50 bucks for my feet. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm offended. Only $50. Excuse me. I'm offended, Jetpack. I'm offended. I'm offended. Only... This is still not much. I was thinking like at least like 500. <laughs> I was thinking like at least 500 for my feet. Okay. <laughs> it's for each toe. 100 for each toe. <laughs> 600 for the whole foot. <laughs> no, but stop it. This is not actually a thing and I'm not doing it. Shut the fuck up. Um, when you're gonna find someone to raid, we're gonna find someone to raid. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. No deal! Okay, we're, we're gonna find someone to raid. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, I hope the voice was funny. I hope the thing was funny. Um, I'm offline tomorrow, but I'll be back on Thursday. Um, next bottle has big toes. Never! Never! <laughs> Never! Okay, um, Shimada's online. Well, then we know who we're raiding. We're a thousand percent raiding Shimada. Let's raid Shimada. Raid channel. Raid the amazing Shimada. Also, thank you all. Thank you all for like 3,000. I don't think I properly said thank you. I'm not gonna cry because I'm sober and therefore I'm a tough tomboy and I've never cried. Um, but thank you all so much. That's really pog. That's a big number. That's a very big number. I remember freaking out when one person followed me on Twitter. <laughs> I remember thinking that was crazy. Um, so thank you. Numbers aren't like the most important things in the world or anything, but it's always like when you get to milestones, you think, whoa, crap, that happened. It kind of makes you sit back for a second and realize, whoa, holy god, ah. that's a lot of jetpack supporting, you know? Milestones are always worth celebrating. Well, I'm going to look into it. I'll try and see if I can set up horror, try and do something that's uh, really cool for you guys. You know, give back community, uh, maybe make some cool art or something. Yeah. Thank you all for hanging out. Let's go raid Shimada. Give Shimada a big raid. I hope you have an amazing, amazing. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, brilliant, brilliant, and lovely, lovely. And until next time, uh, if you guys want to come around and for weird, wacky game adventure, please stop by. I'll see you then. Uh, thank you so much. Jetpack. Jetting. Out. Bye-bye. Bye. Now that they're all gone. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck, I'm gonna be serious for a second. Three thousand is a lot of jetpacks. I'm gonna work hard to try and make you all proud. And uh, try and think of some cool ideas. And Gala, stop stinking me. I'll stinky you in a second. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna attack all my mods. That would be funny. 1v1 the mods. <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm getting distracted. Oh, like one of those wrestling games, but it's like me versus the mods. <gasps> we make the mods fight in a wrestling, in a, an arena. We make the mods a WWE slam. I'm gonna think, I'm gonna think about this. This is, um, okay, bye. Appreciate <laughs> you all, bye. Well, my overlays are buggered. <laughs> Catch you next time. <laughs>